Palestinians are in the midst of a genocide perpetrated by Israel who have the full active backing and support of the United States and many other white supremacist colonialist nations. You can help by going to GazaEsims.com and purchasing SIM cards to be used by residents of Gaza as the IDF and other world powers attempt to institute a communications blackout so their crimes against humanity are less visible. Nothing else matters if we normalize this. Welcome to Double Progression Trouble, the show where my co-host Sophie apparently and I double up on Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression. How it works is we each pull at least 48 packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, or 24 packs from two booster sets at a time, moving chronologically through the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! We then play two best of three matches before moving on to the next two booster sets. The series is divided into seasons based on the eras of the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. At the end of each era, we hold our final matches to determine the true champion, then reset the points and do it all over again. Between games, we ban cards and pull extra packs, constantly upgrading and updating our strategies to stay on top of an always shifting metagame. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Double Progression Trouble! Hello, world and all who inhabit it. My name is Jessica J, aka Jesse J Plays. I am joined, as always, by my co-host Sophie. Apparently, welcome to the final pack opening episode of Double Progression Trouble. We started with the pack Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon and also Metal Raiders. Packs released in the year two. 2002 and today folks we have finally reached the present uh a good uh how does math work 23 years 23 22 years 22 years mm -hmm. like i said the first time mm -hmm. 22 mm -hmm. years of card game history tens of thousands of cards in our collection and we have come to the most recent one how are you feeling sophie what's what's your inner life like uh, you know, it, um, on my inner life, uh, you know, it's all right, I guess. Feels very weird to be here. I just went, like, yesterday, I was at Target buying some other stuff, and there were a few Phantom Nightmare packs there, so I bought them. And, and then I went and opened up a bunch here. It's very weird. Yeah, Phantom Nightmare was released less than a month ago. It is the most recent set in the TCG. It is actively what the present uh, card game and metagame is. But we also decided that since there wasn't a second additional pack to end the series on, we would look back at our uh, at our last two years in this series and all the packs that we have opened and. Do do a little grab bag throughout all the different eras um and yeah that was a that was a thing that could uh, have effects on on card pools maybe arguably Possibly. in some circumstances it could I, I mean listen just imagine all the tx comments you could pull <laughs> It could, it could absolutely happen, and uh, to show how much it is going to happen, <laughs> let's roll, Sip let's transition. rewind time, <laughs> let's do a video transition tool where we go back in time, does that sound good to everybody? I, like I, it. I, I don't that. have a good story this time. We're just, we're just going back in time, get in the fucking vehicle, we're going 88, motherfucker. Phantom Nightmare was released on February 8, 2024, a little bit more than a month ago at time of recording. This is the most recent set in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. We started at 2002 Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon and we are all the way here. And for this most recent set, we've got a couple of things we are looking for. Our Raid Raptor pool is really good, so we would love to pull some of the new support, especially this rank this rank 12 or rank 13 situation. Snake Eyes is interesting, kind of high rarity, but we did get a couple of guys to work with last time, so maybe it could be a thing. The Goblin Bikers are a thing. And, uh, finally, the goatees get support, and that is very, very important. And so we have arrived. Last time in the Double Progression Trouble, 
24 packs of Phantom Nightmare starting now. I wanted to stop this recording on the screen with all the packs just to show you that the pack we are opening today, Phantom Nightmare, is right here at the top of the list. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Deck, short packs by reverse release order, newest at the top, which means that yes, today we are opening the newest pack released in Yu-Gi-Oh! The set came out about a month ago, it is very new, and we did it! We have fucking made it to the end of the series, all the way through the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Cannot believe that we are here, honestly. But I'm excited to open Phantom Nightmare, we are ending on a banger set, so let's hop into it and see what we can get. Our pack number one, that's a cool pull, this is support for the new Ashen deck, which is pretty high rarity and not that good, so we probably won't play it, but I definitely will try to, if we can get enough. But I don't know that we will. The Goblin Bike are maybe more relevant, these guys are a really solid rank 3 engine that we may end up playing. Um, and White Aura is very relevant for goatee purposes. And though the hero of the Ashen City, I mean, they are definitely trying to give us Ashen. Um, and we also got Master of Ham. Shouts out. Uh, Voiceless Voice, probably gonna be too high rarity to hit as well. This deck is uh, very difficult to pull, but maybe we'll get lucky. Ah, uh, well, there's a second barrier, so if that one's good, it'll matter. I'm um, also getting the Raid Raptor commons. That is important. We have a good Raid Raptor package, and maybe we can figure out something to do with it, with all the new support in this set. Now, that is three barrier of the Voiceless Voice. Is this card, like, good? Um, it's a Searcher. That is kind of good, if we can actually find the payoffs. Yo, with that White Sardine. I'm a White Sardine. Um, and there's Nightmare Pain, U-Bell support, which isn't useful to us now, but could theoretically be. Maybe, kind of, sort of. Um, one of the super rare Goblin Bikers, very good to see, Klados Floater, incredible name by the way, is a revive, definitely not bad. Oh, and there's Mean Merciless. These guys really have the most names of our time. I'm not mad about that, Goblins is pretty much exactly what we're looking for. And speaking of which, there is Goblin Biker Big Gabonga. That Gabonga is big. Generic rank 3, such as a Goblin on Summon. Fantastic card. We, we might play this now. We might do it. Oh, I've never seen this card in my life. Oh, this card is bizarre. This card is so strange. Maybe we'll play it for comedy, I don't know. Yo, Aroma Support! We're not doing that. Sorry. And wow, our goblin pulls continuing to be great. That is a grand bash. Um, it's an extra normal summon. That's fantastic. Hell yeah. Uh, there's a new magic specter. That's cool, but probably not good enough at this point in time, unfortunately. Hey, it's the third under root, over root, after root card. Um, this card I don't think is very good. Um, it's not terrible though. Oh, but wait, th this card searches over root. That might be worth playing. Also, shout out to Jungle Ghoul Illusionist. This card's art is so cool. Ah, uh, there's a second hero. Don't think we're putting Ashen together, but you know, maybe the extra packs will somehow make it happen. Um, and there's a second Clad Exploder. Really fantastic goblin package we're getting. We are literally goblin these nuts. Um, two white sardine is kind of important, because I think this requires two copies of itself to do anything. And that is low! Wow! That card is really, really good. But we don't have any other payoffs, right? Like, we aren't pulling the new visual monsters. So I still don't think we can make this work. Alright, last couple of packs here. Um, I would love more goblins, and if we could get one of the voiceless voice rituals, I would not complain. Um, that's neither. It is the Magic Spectre Dragon Ryu. Little bit unfortunate, but we can maybe go into that if we ever play a pendulum deck. And... Hey, new U-Bell. That'll go crazy if we manage to pour you bell in the extra packs we are about to get. Um, but yeah, not bad pulls. I'm obviously out of rerolls, so not really any sense in thinking about this. Let's just slap these fellas into the collection and move on to a celebration of DPT. Okay, if we get two of this, it gets to be a, um, a free special summon for the hand. That's important. Ashen City. Aroma Lilith. 
uh the uh when we played the uh aroma uh people it worked really really well for us samsara d lotus this is you bell support uh we don't have you bell yet one ashened ultra rare and it's pretty good if, if the ashened deck is anything aroma lilith another white sardine that's really really good goblin biker doug charger this is some secret rare Horus support, which is extremely funny. Uh, I don't think we have the stones for that, though. Another D Lotus. A Magispector Link. I don't think. We've banned the shit out of Magispector, so I don't think this can be anything, but very strange secret rare. Alright, halfway point. Another goblin biker. Okay, so this becomes King Sarcophagus while in the field zone. This is horror shit. Keef Merc of the Goaty. Um, yeah, that's a really nice find. I like that a lot. Spirit of U Bell. Yeah, um, U Bell support is a thing. Uh, we need to get a little bit lucky if we could do, uh, or if we are to do anything with it. Emissary from the House of Wax. That's terrifying. Another Goblin Biker Ultra Rare. Our Goblin Biker guys are pretty cool so far. Another Aroma. Incredible. Okay. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to figure out how we're summoning a rank 13, uh, but I'm sure there's like somewhere in the Raid Raptor combo that like uh, shits this out. Um, that is neat. Ooh, secret rare goblin biker. This is a cute, this is a cute card. I kind of like our goblin engine. Uh, last pack is gonna be Sunset Beam fascinating okay um not the best phantom nightmare pulls but uh good goblin situations and a new goatee monster um and we even got two of this fish two of this new fish um in addition to the assorted commons so we will add this to the deck and uh move on to pack opening buffet and now, the final regular pack opening of DPT. Four packs from the six previous eras, and I'm gonna do these in reverse chronological order, because I feel like it's better. And we are starting with my brain pack, Code of the Duelist, which we are opening to try to find Trickstars. Because I am pretty close to a very strong, strong Trickstar package. But it feels weird to be seeing rares in packs again, after so long of them not existing. Um, second pack, nothing. Third pack, doesn't look like anything. Um, we actually, that's actually the third pulse mines, which is a bit relevant. Can we find anything here? Um, no, we surely cannot. But I don't think we had three Supracks, so maybe that'll come up. Well, that's Brains over, and that's gonna bring us back to new challengers, which I'm opening to dig for Shadal fusions. There's two fusions in here. They're not great, but if I pulled one, I would try to make a package work. Um, those cow cabs. Very funny if we try to run back BA again for some reason. Nothing much in here of relevance. Oh, Utopia Beyond is actually quite good. This card is a really strong rank 6 we didn't have access to. That'll go great if we ever play a level 6 deck. And... I mean, it is an ultra. Fusion Resolve is, like, kind of funny. Oh, wait, this card is actually, like, kind of good, right? This is just a searcher for anything listed on a fusion spell. Yeah, I can't complain about that. And we are moving right along to Zexal with Primal Origin. I'm gonna be so real, I just want Rank Up Magic the 7th one. I think that card is so fucking cool. Um, we're not gonna get it, but Dawn Southern Stone is kind of a draw one, I suppose. A third Rhapsody, that card is banned now, so sadly not gonna come up, but it is here. A Beautiful Princess, actually pretty relevant if we do end up going on Goaty at some point. And... A Sylvan Princess Sprout is not awful, but not great either. Nothing too crazy so far, but maybe Shining Darkness will change that. We are here 
because I feel like I'm close to having an alright Infernity deck, as opposed to the terrible Infernity deck I played. So we are going to try to find that here. Uh, right off the bat, the third beat all is quite good. We only had two of this, so that already makes the deck a good bit better. Nothing. We're obviously looking for Launcher. That would be far and away the best pull. Although second zero max is definitely playable. That is a monster reborn for the deck. Um, honestly, not bad. Definitely not good per se, but that will improve that deck a bit if we choose to go back on it. And then GX, not really a question of what pack, it's Phantom Darkness. This card has some good stuff in it, most notably it has U-Bell. And if we can find one, we can maybe play the new U-Bell support, which would be really cool. Uh, nothing in here, Cry Havoc is cool, but probably isn't going to do much at this point. Um, same for this pack, doesn't look like much. Nope. Hey, and GX disappoints, as it did so often in the past. Maybe we play this in Goaty to be funny, I don't know. And finally, for DM, I will be ending my regular pack openings the way they started, with a few packs of the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. We care about one card and one card only, and that card is Skull Solvent. We are looking to get white, Let's see if our common luck will come through this time. Uh, I mean, Fiddler are obviously good, but I believe it's banned, so it's not like we're going to be playing it. <laughs> First Skull Solvent! First Skull Solvent! Yes, it is coming together! It is all coming together! Okay, second Skull Solvent. Just show me two and I'll be happy. Um, and looks like we didn't get it. But you know what? That is a good start. We got a Skull Solvent. We got a few things that could beef up various goofy little decks. I cannot complain about this. Let's toss that into the collection for the last time and go to deck building. Alrighty, folks, we are celebrating the end of DPT by celebrating the history that we have had in this season, uh, this series more rather. Uh, we are going to be opening four packs each from all six pre-7s era. First of all, we're going to be opening four Magic Ruler um, packs from the DM era. We're hoping to high roll into something ridiculous. Um, and uh, send you of ten, uh, of a thousand hands is not really it. That's not the vibe. Um, man, there are a lot of bad cards in the set. Amoeba's here. Pack number three. <laughs> Flying Kamakiri number one. That's our third copy. We wanted a third copy of this uh, for years and years and years, and now we have it. Um, <laughs> super rare Mahavilo. Well, that's DM packs. Uh, moving on to GX. Hold up. The f <laughs> okay, that's a real card. Those are those are both real cards. Lone Fire Blossom is really really strong, and the Allure of Darkness is good as well. Um, Dark Eyed Illusionist, less so. Uh, Yeet Castle, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is not exactly what we were looking for in Phantom Darkness, but we got one good pack. That's fine. Uh, moving on to Storm of Ragnarok. This one is entirely about high rolling for Maxi. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Um, this guy, I think that's our second copy of Odin, and we simply can't, uh, some of it, because we never got a, a Nordic Ascended Tuner. Oh, well, maybe we'll get one here. Because yeah, the problem is, this is a fucking tuner, but it's not a Nordic Ascended Tuner, it's a Nordic Beast Tuner. I can't do shit with it. Yes! Third copy! <laughs> Jesus Christ, is that really a third copy of Odin? That's so fucking funny. And Stardust Phantom. Okay, uh, we will move on to Zexel, where I actually, um, this is the only era that I broke it up. Every other era, there was like pretty much one thing I was most interested in uh, pulling that we didn't necessarily cover. Uh, Order of... Chaos and Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy are both good sets that we could get pretty good things at pretty low uh, rarity. So we're going to try to find some stuff. Oh my god, that's so funny. Um, yeah, the, we're way past the point where uh, this is good enough to see play, but that is hysterical. 
Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> oh, so funny. Uh, two Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Yes! Ice V, zero fine. What we really want here is title. Title uh, never saw play, so never got banned, and would be really good. Um, Hexley's Dark Cheer Fairy is not gonna be it. Okay, um, we're starting to see why, uh, this is maybe not the greatest idea. We're going to do three, uh, four Secrets of Eternity, and this one actually has a, uh, specific thing we're looking for at common. We really want the Raid Raptor, uh, rank four. Uh, there's a UA card. Good to see you. Um, third copy of Soul Piercer. Incredible. Necroz Cycle. Last pack. Um, that's it! We got Rise Falcon! Holy shit! Alright, Raid Raptors are online, surely. Um, yeah. And then it's gonna be four co uh, packs of Eternity Code, because we're gonna try to high roll for access code. Um, that's a Link Cross. I don't think this particularly matters. Um... I don't think we have the juice to uh, break this card in our format necessarily. Witchcrafter Patronus, cool, neat, heavy forward, um, an Infinitrack card. All right, last time, access code. No, uh, Malice Lady of Lament. Well, uh, you know what? We found some interesting stuff. Uh, we found some interesting things at, uh, in a couple of different sets. We've got a uh, new Lone Fire Blossom. We've got an Allure of Darkness. Um, we got two copies of this card, the best card of all time. Uh, we got the Raid Raptor rank four, uh, which is one of the main things I was looking for. And we got a fucking Link Cross. All right. Uh, we will add this to the collection and start building uh, for Double Progression Trouble. I'm fucking Gabongin! Okay, so maybe this isn't exactly the build you expected, but it turns out there's not really enough generic rank 3 enablers to get into Gabonga consistently. So we're going back to some old friends, the Infernities. These guys are pretty mediocre, but they do make a pretty good rank 3 engine. And with Gabonga, any two level 3s turns into Gabonga to start Boom Mark, which can quick effect summon itself by detaching a material from Gabonga, which then triggers its effect, target a face up monster on the field, and attach it with Gabonga. We love non destruction removal, that's a really powerful interaction, but it's not enough to win the game on its own. One disruption does not an end board make. So, in order to back that up, because there really aren't any other good disruptive rank 3s, we're playing a whole bunch of trap cards. We're on Overrut, we're on the Amazement stuff, we are on Exceed Block, a classic DPG card, and the advantage of Infernity is that we also get to be on the powerful Infernity back row. Stuff like Break, stuff like Suppression. This deck is not quite as strong as I expected Goblin Biker to be, I'll be honest, but I think it's good enough. Gabonga generates value and acts as disruption. Infernities give us access to a ton of powerful blowout back row, and I think it should be enough to beat whatever Jess has cooked up. Unless we're just gonna get owned by Goatee again. Who knows? So this is probably not optimal? Here's the deal, folks. Suship is fine. It was fine when we played it pre-Power of the Elements, and in Power of the Elements, it received enough of a power boost to be fine in a new format as well. The deck is probably at this stage mid. Phantom Nightmare gave us a new Goatee card and a host of interesting fish synchro support, and that deck probably has a higher ceiling than this one. But we did also just get this new spell card, Xyz Force, which helps us make plays with our Xyz Armor stuff we pulled last week a bit more easily. Combine that with the fact that I have wanted to run back Suship maybe the last two or three matches in a row, and fuck it, we ball. This is Suship Fish Xyz. Coming through the fish first, we've got Butuniful Princess, which summons anything. We've got two Xyz Remora. Wish we had a third copy of this. It was a common, like, two seasons ago. 
but it's one of the easiest ways that we can make the Xyz armor line. Three Buzzsaw Shark, still a fantastic starter. Two Lantern Shark, we actually don't need more than one of this. It's usually just a Butuniful Princess target. I just struggled to figure out what the last couple slots in this deck were, and I wanted to beat them to be level four fish, so uh, the second one goes in. Similarly, Lifeless Leaf Fish is here. Not a very good normal summon in this deck, but a pretty good Buzzsaw Shark target. The rest of the monster lineup are once again dedicated to the Suship monsters, chief among them the newest in the bunch, Gunkin Suship Shari Red. A very solid Yu-Gi-Oh card, it's really good as a free XZ summon if you have another Shari in hand, which you can frequently get if you have a hand that makes an XZ and also has a Shari Red on hand. Gunkin Suship Uni is still great. Gunkin Suship Shiryuo is better this time because it has a better search target, and Gunkin Suship Ikura is the worst it's ever been, which is why it's a 2. Meanwhile, we have three copies of the old faithful vanilla itself, Gunkin Suship Shari. In addition to the three Shari, we're playing one painful decision, which fun fact does search Shari Red after you pitch a Shari and unexpected die. Generation Force searches the XZ's Force or Interruption. Gunkin Suship Catch of the Day is not amazing, but it'll do. And we've got one full armored XZ's as a full garnet. The extra deck is interesting this time. We have XZ's Armor Fortress, which ranks up in to full armored Dark Knight Lancer. The only weird part of this plan is that Fortress can't be used as Xyz material if it has Xyz material itself, and we actually don't have that many uh, rank fours in our collection that just kind of independently detach, which makes it a little bit awkward to get this guy where you want him to be. But once we have crossed that bridge with Xyz Force and or also with Xyz Remora, we search the trap card and then get a really powerful monster that steals one of Sophie's monsters and uses it as an equip card. Uh, beyond that, we've got Vespinado, two Grinosaurus Giga Cannon, hilarious card, it's almost a bestial, two Ikra class, two Shiryu class, one Uni class, one Magic Spirit Vapardu, one Valiant Shark Lancer, really, really funny if we get this with another Xyz monster. And then just as a couple Link monsters to have on hand, we've got Geonator Transversor, Rotten, and SP Little Knight. The side is Thunder King, Supernatural Danger Zone, especially for the Mirror Twister, another Xyz Impulse, three tears of the overroot, three the transmigration prophecy in case of skull servant and one xyz block um let's have a good one folks welcome back youtube I am really excited. I have been uh, really enjoying myself with the post pot uh, f part of Sevens and Beyond especially. Um, I think that break that we had in the middle of the season to essentially split it into two mini seasons was oddly apt in the end because I think pre pot and post pot is a, a more... In terms of gameplay, not necessarily in terms of lore, but in terms of play style, is more representative now than like sevens or post sevens. Yeah, no, for sure. Power of the Elements was really the big transition period. Um, yeah, no, it's just been bang out these last few, and hopefully this one won't be an exception. There's some, there's some cool stuff in here. I, yeah. I've, I've cooked up something. Listen. This is gonna look like a certified Sophie moment, but I promise I know what I'm doing. Kind of. <laughs> I have been I have been promised a bad deck and uh, had you actually deliver something incredible. I have been promised a good deck and been delivered a Sophie classic. I really don't know what to think anymore at this stage of the game. I don't know what to expect. Neither do I. We're playing cards, <laughs> baby. Fuck. Ooh, one of the cards I just played is Scissors, wow. motherfucker. All right. How can this be? <sighs> Let's see what we can do, deck. Um, um, hmm. Alright. I can walk with this. Yeah. Um, I can work with this. I think I would rather not, though, probably. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a huge amount of extension here. You good? Yeah, I just, like, threw my phone across the room a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> Incredible. Okay. Um, well, I guess we will start by normal summoning Buzzsaw Shark. 
Dude, this guy has made a lot of appearances this season. So it turns, yeah, it turns out uh, Vrain's cards are still pretty good. Rain, if anything, yeah. Buzzsaw Shark is better now that we uh, don't have to fuck around with Master Rule 4 with the Xyz's uh, than it was when it was printed. Uh, we'll get a Lifeless Leafish. We will yeah. overlay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, we are summoning fish. We are special summoning now, that Magic one's not a Spirit fish. Vipardu. That's not a fish at all. <laughs> We're going to um, uh, detach a lifeless leaf fish, not the buzzsaw shark. I don't think it's going to matter, but you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we will go ahead and add Gunkin Suship Shari. <laughs> Oh baby, we are sushing <laughs> once more. We are, we are so sushi back. Uh, there was going to be a, a joke there, and then there wasn't. Xyz Force. Um, oh wait, no, we haven't done this yet. Um, That's we are true. going to, um, spe we are going to special summon uh, Vespinado again, and then we're going to the activate Xyz Force for the first time, even. For the first time, we're gonna grab Xyz block. Okay, okay. Set uh, that's a good one, one. Set two, and yeah, that's what we got. All right. Raw photon. All right. Stand by main. So, my first move of the duel is gonna be to set three cards face down. Concerning. And now, um, our special summon, <laughs> our old friend, Infernity Wildcat, <laughs> by discarding Condor. I'm gonna shit my pants, Sophie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> alright, alright, you haven't lost me yet. Okay, okay, okay. I want normal summon. My second, Infernity Wildcat. Uh, thinking here, um, what the fuck could you possibly have? It could be anything, is what I'll say. It could be quite literally You know anything. what? We're just going to XZ's right. import. Let's, let's suck one of them up. Um, sure. Ooh. Well, you've eaten one of my cats. I hope you're proud of yourself. Um, now that you phrase it that way, um. not super. I'll activate the effect of Conjurer to summon it, because I have no cards in hand. Yeah, you got it. Okay, okay, um, okay. Maybe should have waited on the import. Didn't exactly read Conjurer. Um, so let's see. There's a couple things I can do here. I'm trying to think what makes the most sense. God, I really want to do that. But the problem is... Um, you have Xyz block in that card. Good. I wish it wasn't. What if we just summon that and, like, don't use the effect? That would be really funny. <laughs> In this matchup specifically. But it also would probably not be very good. No, no, I'll be a little smart. Alright, I will overlay my two level three monsters. Oh? And summon Xyz Armor Torpedo. Okay. <laughs> You know what doing. I'm gonna detach two materials in order to draw one card. You got it. This is a this is a beefy Yu-Gi-Oh card, alright. It is. And it's gonna get beefier. Because by using a rank 3 monster as material, I will summon the Xyz Armor Fortress. Ooh, okay, okay. We're um, armor that would be fortressing. Cool if I had the fall line. I don't, but you know, that's okay. Um actually that that this draw is um Hmm. Alright, read nothing into the fact that my play is going to be to set one more and pass without firing the fortress effect. It means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's no particular card it that I talked about. do that. be that way! <laughs> oh no. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, this might help us um, get uh, some more stuff going on here. I activate right. Gunkin Suship Catch of the Day. Yo! Yo, the bitch gets a counter! <laughs> we are going to reveal a Shari. And, oh, oh my god, um, this card I, is so silly. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. We're gonna reveal <laughs> any uh, Gunkin Xyz. Uh, here, look, it's Ikra class. Surprise, surprise, motherfucker. Okay, what would um, you? What do you want to order? 
Matt, you know, I really like sushi. I got to think about this. Um, but I think I'll go for some Akura. Uh, <laughs> this is the slight downside of this particular Yu-Gi-Oh card is that like once your opponent figures out that they just call the worst one repeatedly, it's a little bit, it's a little bit sushi over. But isn't there only one option? Because it has to be... Oh, listen on any Gunken Xyz monster. That's so funny. Yeah, uh, no, that. you could... <laughs> No, um, the, the trap card is too slow to play at this stage, but the thing that it got right that this card is right. sorely missing is having a, uh, just, like, force clause that, like, takes the choice out of your opponent's hand. Whereas, like, like this, this, yeah, this card giving them a little bit more choice is more in line with what a, um, more in line with what a, uh, restaurant would have on a menu, but less in line with the spirit of capitalism, you know, the, the illusion of choice while large sushi yeah. corporations profit, but, you know. I do, I do enjoy that it's like, if you cannot add, shuffle this card into the deck. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, what's that? Is it like, is it like you're out of whatever you need to make the order and they, like, fucking burn down your restaurant? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Business is fucking hard in this day and age. I don't know what to tell you. Honestly. Oh, no. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, we're going to normal summon, uh, uh, Shari. Um, uh, you know what? We're just going to do this. On summon, I'm going to Infernity Break. Targeting Wildcat Shari. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see it. I see it. Um, and Get I... broken. It'll be a little bit to the end of my turn, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're... <laughs> Goodbye. Wah! Oh. That. Mm. Okay. Now that a ton psychot has passed, I think I'm in... A reasonable spot here. I am going to target your Vespinado with a Maze Attraction Spell Train. No. <sighs> okay. Please say been... goodbye to your bug for precisely one turn. I have been betrayed by my train friend. You really have. I'm gonna normal summon Goblin Tracker, alright? Alright. Uh, okay, Psychic Tracker. Track um, and then I'm gonna activate the effect of Conjurer and Grave because I have no cards in hand. Yeah, you got it. I'll summon Contra, and, uh, <laughs> may I give them the game away a bit there, but yes, I will be overlaying my two level three monsters to summon Goblin Biker Big Gabonga! Let's go! I'm fucking <laughs> goblining! <laughs> On summon, Gabonga will Gabong. Yeah, um, you got to add it. a goblin from my deck to my hand. Uh, you, you gab gabla goblin goblin it. Um, and I will add to my hand, Goblin Biker Boom Mock. You got it. Um, let's see, now that we have another Xyz, I will activate the effect of Armor Fortress. Um, I'll detach a material to add an Armored Xyz card from deck to hand. Yeah. And we're gonna get the trap card. Full armor axes. Yeah. Um. And then, uh. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> Go, Gabonga! Gabonga, dumbass! Um. Boom and boom. Yup. On um, main phase two, I will set one. Um. You know, could be anything, blah, blah, blah. I'm um, an end phase I'll go bonga effect to attach a goblin from deck to it as a material. You got um, it. And we are gonna get the card with one of my favorite names of all time. I'm talking about Goblin Biker Mean Merciless. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout outs to all of you who uh uh fucking are trying to be mean merciless out there. <laughs> Me. Alright, I'll, I'll pass, and uh, let me just say, I'm feeling pretty good about playing goblins in the Xyz deck, Mira. Alrighty, stand by main. Um, yeah, so this is definitely a thing that exists. This is for sure a thing. Okay, uh, we will try to normal summon Shari again. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go on summon, um... Effect of boom mock. 
to detach a material from an Xyz monster and special summon it. Yeah. Um, so we are gonna detach the Conjurer, Special Boom Mock, um, and then we'll go Gabanga. Because a monster was detached from any Xyz on the field, I will target a face-up monster and attach it to Gabanga. Alright, um, and that possibly puts me down on board, um... Imagine I put this in attack position, because I remember what Despinado does feel thing. Uh, I think that's gonna matter a whole lot, um... Mm -hmm. The battle phase. Attack! Um... That's an Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Um, Vespinado. Exe block. Son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, you got it. Uh, damn. Gabonga. You gabonga'd the fuck out of me. Uh... Uh, I, that's okay, though. I think, what do a bunch of goblins have against an entire yeah. sushi corporation? Ah, uh, but that's what you need to understand, Jess. My goblins are immune to their wiles, because they're nowhere near cultured <laughs> enough to appreciate sushi. I was gonna, not, that, that's a little bit, a that's a little though. bit rude towards the goblins. I was gonna say, surely there's no, nothing the outlaws know about the world that the soulless corporation doesn't already. God, that's so true. That's also true. <laughs> All right. See you in a sec. Bye. Okay, look, I'm gonna be so honest with you guys. I literally just forgot to hit start recording. I'm not even gonna bother going back. I opened LRB to hit more Skull Solvents. We didn't hit Skull Solvent, and that means I pulled functionally nothing. So, uh... Content. A bit unfortunate, but we're not dead yet. Two more packs of Phantom Nightmare. Um, the, 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 the gentle individual of the hour. I don't know what gender Mean Merciless identifies as. Can we get a Raid Raptor? No, but that is a new Goatee card. That's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know what it does. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Uh, that may justify us running back Goatee at some point. All right, uh, game two. Now, is my version of an Xyz deck from several weeks ago and get massively out-tempoed? Yes. However, <laughs> that simply will not happen again. That's true. I mean, listen, I will say, this deck can definitely generate clunkier hands. Um, and I mean, like, you're doing rank 4s, I'm doing rank 3s, and 4 is more than 3, so like, <laughs> I don't know. I also didn't draw any of my best card last time and this time does look a little bit different uh -oh. this time <laughs> does look pretty good uh we're gonna reveal uh the newest gunkin monster gunkin suship shari red yeah i will reveal uh the way i did this was weird but i actually have two gunkin suship shari red which means i also have two right. gunkin suship shari which means i can yeah. reveal one of the gunkin suship shari red as a gunkin suship shari to summon the other one as a gunkin suship shari and also a gunkin suship shari red hey did you know that gunkin suship shari <laughs> is is gunkin suship shari i'm glad they did this naming convention without like harpy lady one two three themselves yeah. it is funny they finally made that that, that effect walk <laughs> it only took them however many times uh here's gunkin suship shiryuo and we're gonna immediately xz summon um we will special summon shiryuo class Mm -hmm. Um, we are going to, in sequence, draw one card and then add from deck to hand Gunkin Suship, uh, uh, Catch of the Day. Yeah. We will activate Gunkin Suship, Catch of the Day. We will activate the Gunkin Suship, Catch of the Day we drew for turn. Yeah! Now, this card does not have a hard one, so we are going to be using it twice, revealing it's the so same Gunkin Sushi Shari twice. That this card tells you to reveal a, an, an Xyz monster, but your opponent can pick any Xyz monster. <laughs> it's amazing. This is, this is, you know, this is the most flavorful card of all time, pun intended. If you, <laughs> if you think that, uh, if folks, if you are ready to add two copies of yeah. fucking... Uh, a fucking Ikura to hand. 
You know, I was thinking about maybe doing something else, but uh, I'm not gonna. You know, I would love a double order of Ikura, please. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Best fucking card of the deck. It's gotta be said. Um, what actually is one of the better cards of the deck is Uni. Oh, yeah, that one's kind of good. This one's all right. We're gonna um, special summon it. We will special summon this as a Gunkin Sujip Shari. Mm -hmm. um, we will declare the effect of Uni. We will... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make Shari red a level 5 and add a Gunkin Suship Shari from deck to hand. Yep. I yep. actually think yep. for once it's going to be vanilla Gunkin Suship Shari. Yo! God, me when I finally got to visit that harbor, specializing in Gunkin Suship <laughs> that I've been curious about for a while. True! We're the premium Shari summon, here! We're going to special summon a Gunkin Suship Ikura. Mm. Yeah. And I think we should fire off both of these Generation Force Yo. before we draw additional cards. Oh, you're cooking. We will go. And I, I, I should have been running more of this bullshit. <laughs> uh, the Generation Force line is not bad, for sure. Um, The question is, do I want to try to do the combo that I am uh, running this deck to try to do, but I only get to do it with nine cards? Oh, of course we do, because we just add XZ's Force. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and XZ's block. I, I figured it out. That's fine. Um, yeah, so what we do from here is, uh, this is going to end its life as a Vespinado, and then as we will happens. XZ's force. Yep. We will add from deck to hand, uh, XZ's import. Yeah. <laughs> We will uh, um, overlay these guys. Just a couple of fishy fellas. We're gonna make, for the first time, uh, a Gunkin Suship Uni Class Super Dreadnought. This Beola. guy's very big and its uh, negate effect sucks, but we are <laughs> gonna draw a card. Oh, you surely are. Um, we will not be activating that. That is fine. We will use my normal summon on Gunkin Suship Shari. <laughs> oh yeah, we never did that, did we? Huh? All right, all right, all right. So let's just go ahead. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, we're just gonna get all three of them on board in one turn. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's the fucking crew. It's the fucking squad. We will set one, set two. Um, I'm somehow regretting not playing the field spell right now, um, <laughs> but uh, we will we will do our best. All right, so it's what block import and a bunch of idiots. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. Also, I can negate a card during your battle phase if this That's thing is still so alive. True. Then. Um. Well. You know, I think what I'm going to do here, Jess, um, is I'm going to summon some level 3 monsters. <laughs> for sure, <laughs> for sure. Check this shit out. I'm going to discard Defrag Dragon and special summon Defrag Dragon. Defrag! Let's go. I'm going to normal summon the Infernity Necromancer. You got it. And it becomes change to defense position. We all good here? Uh, we're, we're hanging. We're vibing. Okay. Okay. But that means now I need to figure out how I'm breaking your board. It's the problem. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure how I'm doing that. Uh, but I'll tell you. I'll way. tell you what. Uh, these motherfuckers are now that I know you got a beefy, uh, a beefy rank three payoff. We're gonna save these motherfuckers for as long as we can. I have learned my lesson. Mm. God, I really want. I really want a Gabong, but I feel like Gabong Gang doesn't <laughs> achieve anything. No, um, I think it's a good idea. I think it'll go really well for you. I mean, that almost achieves something. Um, but the problem is, um, sometimes card negate, which is quite rude. I would have to say, just like just like if you asked me. You know, I know no one wants to ask me, but like if you did ask me, um, I, I care about your thoughts and feelings. Oh, that's a bad idea. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know my opinion. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, okay. <laughs> what the fuck am I summoning? I just want to go bong. <laughs> but it doesn't achieve anything. I think... Yeah, because I can do this, but it doesn't actually do much of anything. Because it lacks that. Well, I guess it is. Mm. 
No, but they don't have a way to force it to activate. I see the problem. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we are gonna overlay. I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing as that. I'm just gonna make my torpedo. Uh, yeah. Um, yes. Um, and I guess we have to start getting through things. Um, I will attempt to draw one card. Um, this is to detach two. Yeah, yeah. Um, DB was DB was thinking about it. I can also just leave it. That would be pretty funny. It would be a little funny, I'll admit. You just, what are you gonna do? You can trade with my Vespinado, take out my Ikura class, but I still have my negates and my big guy. What could you have as extension that would make me regret letting you take my Ikura class specifically? Is the Ikara class more valuable than just keeping my negates for something that really breaks the board? You know what? You can have a card. That's fine. Uh, alright. The card's gonna be crazy, though. You're gonna be like, damn, I fucked up. Um, uh, maybe you won't, actually. <laughs> um, I, I have used my normal summon, regrettably. Um, that's fine. I'll make Fortress. Yeah, you got it. Um, I'll go Fortress to Sarge. Uh, sure. Um, you know the drill, we're gonna grab... You know, this card, it's just this card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I will enter the battle phase. Um, uh, that's fine. Dying me. You can now negate the effect of my card. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to clear Ikura. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> goodbye, Ikura. See, this is semantically appropriate, because it's me eating all the Ikura I order. <laughs> True! Um, and then main phase two, it's gonna be set one, set two, set three, and then it's gonna be the best card in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm talking about Parasomnia Pillow, targeting Uni Glass. I don't love that, but uh, we will lose the uni class. Damn right you will. I will go to end phase and destroy the uni class. And we will, now that we're safely in end phase, we will chain Xyz import to steal the armor fortress. Oh yeah, I guess you can do that before it dies, huh? <laughs> well, I'll just idea. put that directly in the graveyard, we'll skip some steps. <laughs> Alright. Um, and I will get, importantly, a Parasomnia token. We gotta get the right token here. Fuck, I misclicked. <laughs> it wasn't the right token. Okay, there we go. Um, it's gonna be an attack. It's gonna be a 29 or 26? 29. Yeah, 29. This is a big guy. You know, it's a big little token. And you're enough to defeat it. <laughs> All right, standby main. We will start by banishing XZ's force. We are going to detach Shiryu class, and since it is an Xyz monster, I get to summon it. Oh, that's pretty good. Yo, this is a card that says Banishment on it. Look at that. <laughs> New terminology. Um, Sophie, I'm gonna be so real with you, I'm also gonna make Xyz Armor Fortress. Yeah! <laughs> Best Benado 2, the sequel. Declare its effect. Mm hmm We will add from deck to hand... Wait, no! Did I side it out? Oh no. Can I pretend that I didn't side it out? That was a mistake. What? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> like, you literally misclicked? Um, I, I might have been like, oh, I don't want this in my deck, but I was very incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what- Listen, it wouldn't be DPT if we stopped cheating now. Okay! This- this Terrors of the Overroot is actually X, XYZ Armor Fortress. Oh, what do you mean? Like the, like, the, uh, the, no, no, the, one? Yeah, 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 that one. Exactly. Okay, that one. Exactly that Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> <Great. Yu -Gi> card. <laughs> Chat, I'm really good at the yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game. We've just got a new kind of cheating to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Xyz Fortress. Um, this, these, this card's like uh, limitation is a little bit weird, but I can use both effects in one turn as long as the. Banish one is not on a copy of it that's been sent to the graveyard this turn. And I will not be adding an Xyz block. <laughs> this is going great. Okay. Um, <laughs> sweet. I am going to normal summon. 
Uh, a beautiful princess. You surely are. We will declare its effect. We're gonna banish it. Um, we will yes, special yes, summon yes, yes. Buzzsaw Shark. And then... Um... Mm -hmm. Again, I assume you're activating the Buzzsaw effect? Yes. Okay, then I will chain over right. Targeting uh, the Buzzsaw. Um, and we are gonna set... Um, what's the funniest one to set on your field? I think it's gotta be Ikura, right? <laughs> like, like, I'm just gonna keep saying Ikura this entire match. Just continually <laughs> ordering Ikura until the end of yeah. time. Goodness gracious. Um... What if we Vespinado into Buzzsaw anyway? Does that accomplish anything? Uh, well, the Buzz- yeah, I mean, not a ton, because the Buzzsaw is a hard one. Oh, 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 then, unfortunately, no. Uh, we will set one card and go to end phase. Yeah. Well. Beautiful. Well, stop that. I'm not sure how much this is doing. Oh, okay. We are going <laughs> to special summon. Full armor, Dark Knight Lancer. Uh, yeah, that's the one. That's the, the bit of this that's I'm the, missing. That's the, that's that's the, um... this, this is pretty good. Um, and that's going to be a standby phase. Um, and then for the rest of the turn, the full armor trap card I have in Graveyard, which I definitely have, lets me yeah. equip a monster you control. Now, my question is, uh, this has enough attack that it doesn't matter, but does that work on to your token? Um, does it become... <laughs> Wait, let me... Um, it does not. Tokens cannot become a thief material. Alright, well, um, gains 300 for each equip it has, so it's at, uh, 3100 right now. So at yeah. least out, out, um, in terms of attack is bigger than the token. Yeah. But, uh, the quick effect is not the most useful right this second. Not at the moment. Oh, um, dear. And unfortunately, this hand would be much better if I'd drawn it in a slightly different order. Um, hmm. Alright, I think it does have to start off with a normal summon of Wildcat. Sure. Um, and I am just gonna go to battle. Sure. Um, I'll go Wildcat, um, into the fucking Ikura. <laughs> no, you th threw back your Ikura that you ordered. I'm like, waitress, this <laughs> has a hair in it. Um, and I guess, I don't really want to hit the Vespinado, but I gotta get through it at some point. So I will hit the Vespinado. And we will declare the Vespinado. Um, I think mm -hmm. it is just gonna be Buzzsaw Shark. Uh, yeah, that is the problem. Um, although, although it could just be Dreadnought, which is incredibly funny. Um, it actually can't, because the Xyz are not level 5 or lower monsters. That's so real of you. <laughs> yup, yup, So yep. real and true of you. It really is. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Alright, my board remains unbreakable. Okay. Oh, good goodness. Oh, fascinating. Okay. Um, Buzzsaw Shark. I will Infernity Suppression to negate the effect and then inflict damage equal to its level times 100. Okay, uh, does it destroy it? Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, cool. But you're taking 400. That's bitch. true. It's <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I will normal uh, summon Gunkin Suship Shari. Mm -hmm. Um, Gunkin Suship Ikura. Uh oh. That's um, my favorite kind of sushi. We will overlay and just make. Well, that is the wrong oh. one. What did you want over there, bud? It doesn't work on any level. <laughs> Truly a multitude of new and exciting reasons. It does not work. Okay, we will draw one card. Um, that would be a good draw if it were not bad. Um, okay, we will go to battle phase. Mm -hmm. We will go Ikura class. 
Oh yeah, I did. I guess I did let you do this, huh? That's unfortunate. Um. Well, that's gonna be a hot uh fucking eight hundred. This is the fun. Ow. Um. And we will. How does the pillow work? Um. Uh, if you kill it, it dies. I was. I was thinking if like it had a. F uh. Yeah, yeah. If you kill it, it dies. That's what happened. Oh, and sent to the graveyard. I thought it, like, floated in, uh, no. like, additional times. Okay. Nah, tokens don't be doing that. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, okay, we're, we're go to the up. graveyard, Mr. Pillow. There you go. Um, we're getting some lag on my end as well, but that's okay, folks. Um, we will attack with all these guys. Ow. Ouch. And furthermore, owie. Alright, with a couple XZs block up and still having the uh, armored uh, equip online, I don't feel bad, for sure. Hey, so I don't want to coach too much, but you realize if you banish the trap here to get another equip, it's lethal, right? Um, sure, sure. We're, we're, <laughs> we've cheated enough at this point. Uh, I'm not going to stop here, folks. <laughs> Let me see if my Bob would have done anything. Oh, that's actually a terrible draw in this situation. It's all right, fine. all right. <laughs> uh, it only took a little bit of cheating, folks, but we got yeah. there in the end. We achieved game state. <laughs> Don't even worry. I'm going to gabong you so hard. <laughs> You're going first, so we'll see how that goes. Okay. Maximum gabong. <laughs> all right. Sophie let us take back our bad side decking, and therefore we won. We were pro we maybe had enough tempo in that situation that it didn't matter but it is extremely funny two more packs of phantom nightmare um a secret rare guy who's a generic eight what the um fascinating this is very interesting okay and king of the ashen city still not finding the raid raptor super rares that i'm really hoping for but we will get more opportunities in a little bit game three <laughs> all right so uh speaking of cheating i did discover that i was for some reason side decking three copies of lightning strike kaiju i never added them to me but that was Whoa. for sure a thing Bam? that exists Bam? Um, i'm pretty what sure the fuck? Stop beating me. yeah judge judge what the fuck i'm assuming i'm, I'm going, going second yeah yeah, yeah yeah <laughs> all right gl hf hf gl um uh, i mean this does do the thing G S H L one. Uh, no, no oh yeah. Uh, special tracker. Yes. And I would like see some in. <laughs> oh man, you know who it is, Gabunga. <laughs> <laughs> so real. <laughs> Effect on some in. You got it. <laughs> We're gonna add boom mock. Yeah, I'm booming my fucking mock. I'm gonna set to proceed to end phase, and from the deck, I want to attach my girl, Mean Merciless. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh goodness. Oh gracious. Oh okay. god. You will never defeat Gabong to set to pass. Okay. I will start by normal summoning Buzzsaw Shark. Um. Sure. Declare Buzzsaw Shark. Lock. No, why would you do this? Um, that puts my turn in a fun position. We will reveal Uni. Um, yeah. Uh, revealing Shari. Ah, uh, that's not bad. Special the Uni. Special the Shari. Yup. Um, declare Uni. Target Shari. Um, okay, if you're targeting Shari here, I will chain, uh, Boom Mark. Yeah, you got it. Um, so that'll detach, summon the Boom Mark. Um, Shari gets set to level 5, and the new chain, I'll declare Gabonga, um, targeting Shari. You got it. I'm still gonna add from deck to hand with Uni. Yeah. Oh, and it equips, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can grab that from the graveyard, and I will add from okay, deck to right. hand. Oh, wow, that's, that's an, an attach button. I can just put it right on down from the graveyard. How nice. Uh, Shari Red. 
Now, mm -hmm. it would be real cool if I could do a little bit more. We will set one and pass. Draw! We will Terrors of the Overroot, the Gabunga. Oh, not my Gabunga! Um, and we will set the Infernity Conjurer. Suppose you will. That is slightly annoying. Um, but only slightly. Main phase one. It did its job of chewing through my um, two plays. Yeah. I want just a normal summon defrag dragon. Yes. And... God, I mean, you can never go wrong drawing one card, can you? <laughs> like, I have other things I could do, but I kind of want to just do that. 25 guy draw one card. You know, it's living. It really is. Um... Yeah, fuck it. I'll draw one card. You can't stop Let's me. Let's go! Boom! Yeah, well, yeah. bam Let's do it. Um, intriguing, but doesn't do a ton right now. Honestly, I can summon one of the bikers. I can summon back Merciless. I mean, I, I can't summon Boomark again until, until your turn. Um, the question is, do I, how much do I gain from doing that? If I do that, then I can do this. No, I don't think of any reason to get too spicy here. Um, we're just gonna make, um, Fortress. Um, we will effect a Fortress. Let's go! You know, the usual, we're gonna get Fall Armored. Um, well, I guess we'll just kill the Zuni, you know? <laughs> Throwing the Uni back at the, back at the waitstaff. Honestly, I wanted Ikura, <laughs> and I'll pass on that. All right. Um, I'm going to normal summon Buzzsaw Shark. Um, summon is fine. Declare Buzzsaw Shark. Overrun. <sighs> okay. Um, you can have your Uni. I. That's so nice of you. Um... I know, isn't it? We, none of our plays would be terrors, unfortunately, so we will pass. Got on. Okay. Um, I'll flip summon the conjurer. Yeah. Um, and we'll run out wildcat. Yeah. Um, number of things I could potentially do with these. I almost wonder if I just want to go for this, because it is technically disruption. Yeah, I'm actually gonna be just a wee little bit weird about this. Um, I'm actually gonna use the Fall Armor XC here, just to get it in the graveyard. Okay. Um, it's gonna let me overlay my two threes. Um, and we are gonna summon, because they are both fiends, a uh, DDD Stone King Darius. Sure. This guy is fucking Warblader, kind of, sort of, maybe. Um... And yeah, we'll just go battle Darius in. Boop. Um, and I'll just punch for 25. Boop. Um, and pass on that. Alright, um, unexpected die. Oh, dude, I might unexpectedly die. Oh, damn. <laughs> we, we, we have, we have plays. Sometimes we have plays. Um, we will... Special summon Sharyuo and what is um, that? Oh, yeah. Um, I think I want to actually do this now on the summon. I will uh, banish Fall Armored, um, targeting the fortress. Yeah. So, great. Job. Yeah. So I will equip it with the torpedo. Um, and now between the full armor and torpedo effects, this guy gains 2,500, um, and cannot be targeted by card effects, and if it would be destroyed, I can destroy the torpedo instead. Gotcha. That is a lot to handle for sure. I will not lie to you. It's also all mateys, if that, if, if you know, you are wanting to attack it. Uh, yeah, we will go ahead and just overlay for shiryu class yep 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 um in sequence draw one and add from deck to hand catch of the day uh-huh 
activate catch of the day. Reveal Shari Red. Mm hmm. Um, and I'm assuming you want Ikura. Um, uh, actually, you have a question here, which is what's, what's the uh, Shirao, a normal summon or the special? Um, that was a special summon because I had a Shari. Uh, um, in that case, I'm actually gonna give you, I'm actually gonna order some Shirao today. I don't want to give you another free special. Fair enough. Um, Which, like, I maybe don't think Ikura, that Ikura... You can't stop me. No, Ikura, I don't think Ikura can uh, summon itself, but... Uh, one, I, one, I mean, you just showed me a Shari and you have a normal summon, so... That's true. Um, we will go XZ's Force. Funny. That is comedic. We love comedy. Known comedy lovers here on DPT. Okay, so I can't target the Xyz Armor Fortress, but I destroy the equip card and it just goes back to normal? Yeah. Okay. Two ways to do this that are both kind of funny and silly. Okay, if I Ikura class and attack DDD Stone King Darius, does it get to resolve its effect even if it's destroyed because it deals damage to you? Um, I... Yeah, because it's after damage calculating, so yes, I'm almost certain that the Ikura would trigger. Okay. Um, then that leaves us with a pretty, um, a fairly clean line. Um, and I think we're going to take it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, so we add Xyz import. Um, this can't add the hand at the moment. Oh, right. Um, I think you are full, actually. We are going to... I mean, you to... can't just turn it into a Vespinado. No, then yeah, we, this is always going to be Vespinado anyway. That's my bad. Oh, um, that. We've done it. We, we add, uh, turn that into a Vespinado and we add import to hand. Mm -hmm. um, we will normal summon the Shariuo. And yep, yep. <laughs> we will declare its effect to special summon Shari Red. Sure. Um, because that it, once per turn has not been met yet this turn. So mm -hmm. we get to do that. We will overlay. Um, this Ikura class cannot attack twice, but it does get a draw. It surely does. Um, and yeah, we will go to battle. Ikura class. Yep, and now I see what's happening here. I mean, I will detach. Um, yeah, I will take 500 effect damage, but you would take 300 battle damage, and Ikra yeah, will and... destroy the torpedo. Yeah. We will go Xyz import. Um, yeah, that sure is less than or equal to you, and there you go. All right, we did it! <laughs> You've done it. Okay, um, yeah. We will you got a chunky Vespinado. This Vespinado is uh, getting laid all day every day. Now, you surely are. Um, my uh, my follow up is actually okay as long as you can't kill Vespinado and then also kill the thing I summon off of Vespinado, which surely you can't do. Surely. Um, end phase. I'm gonna activate the effect of Boom Mark in the graveyard. Yeah. Um. So I'll summon Vest by detaching a material from Vespinado. <laughs> yeah. Which one? Um, let's get- I don't really want to give you any of the soup that's back. I'll just detach my Xyz armor fortress. I want it back. Sure. Taking um, back what's yours. Raw. Um... Weird little series of draws I've had, uh, but this does it just fine. We're actually gonna do it like this. I am going to hitch Necromancer to special Wildcat. Um... Thinking. On oh. summon. Um, yeah, this is fine. Okay. Um, a good start. For sure. Yeah, I think we actually want to do a little something like this. Um, because my little wildcat's a tuna monster. Uh, so we're actually gonna do a synchro summon. Okay. And we are gonna summon Gordon Cloud Beast, my long. <laughs> Um, and I won't use the on summon effect. Is sent if this card is sent to the graveyard. Have you normaled yet this turn? I have not normal summoned. And what have you got in graveyard that you can summon? Is it just the? 
Um, I have the mean merciless that I can summon by detaching from Espinado, and the conjurer could theoretically come out if I'm able to get rid of this last card in my hand. I think we will shotgun the last Xyz import. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, this guy, this is the guy that outs Vespinato. <laughs> okay. Um, alright. In that case, I will follow up by, you know, we don't cheat here, um, by first setting, and then activating zero max, targeting Infernity Necromancer. <laughs> you got it. So, I'm gonna summon Necromancer. Alright. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go... Effect of Necromancer, targeting, um, Wildcat. Yeah. So we'll go for this, and then I gotta think exactly how I wanna play this. Um, but I don't think I need to think of that. Yeah, it's real functionally just, like, using a guy. Uh, I guess we can do this. Why not? Um, so I am gonna synchro for six again. Um, I'm gonna summon... Infernity Doom Archfiend. Yeah, okay. Infernity! Um, I'll use the effect targeting Vespinato to negate its effect, which doesn't really achieve anything, and then destroy it. Um, yeah, so I get to Vespinato summon something from Grave. Yeah. And you also get to bounce my catch of the day? Yeah, yeah, because I'm turn player, so mine is chain link one. Yeah. I mean, I'm not bounding the catch of the day, but like, I could. <laughs> you definitely could. Um, I don't think yeah. I can do and too much with this. Unfortunately, because of zero mass, I don't have a battle phase this turn. So. Uh, oh, oh, cool, cool, cool. Then I am good. I'm making uh, slightly awkward. Uh, Buzzsaw Shark. Um, but not most awkward. I'm gonna go Conjura. Yeah. Um, I'll special this back, and I will link off these two. Um, and special summon SP Little Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Almost forgot about this, uh, little, little doop. She's back! And, uh, like I said, no battle phase, so, um, I mean, you know, SP pass ain't bad. That's true. Um... Normal summon Buzzsaw Shark. Yeah. Declare? Chain SP. <laughs> For sure. See you in the end phase. We've done it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Draw for turn. Oh, that is not a draw that does anything in this situation. Um. <laughs> I'm I like, mean, as long as she can't beat 1600, we're still okay. God, and the problem is, I literally can't right now. Oh, wait! Um, I could have just crashed the buzzsaw. SP only works when I use an effect. I, I'm learning how these cards work, folks. <laughs> oh, you can also just do it next turn, and that'll work as well, too. Oh, cool, um, cool, 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 cool. And it's like, yeah, because I don't... I mean, I have my goblins in grave, but I can't summon them without an Xyz monster in play, so, uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, stand by main. <sighs> I hate to not use Buzzsaw Shark, but I really do want to clear this little knight. Yeah, no, you gotta. You, you gotta. Got, I simply must. <laughs> Alright. Yep. Um, I don't have a Leaf Fish in Grave at this point. Nah. No, I don't have any extension. Oh, damn. Okay. Interesting game we've got on our hands. We're gonna set yeah. one and send it back to you. <laughs> The game state, it's simplified. <laughs> oh, that is a good one. That's a good one. I'm gonna summon another monster with a fantastic name. Goblin Biker Clatosploder. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, and, are you sploding? <laughs> and that activated the fact, targeting Mean Merciless to special summon it. Uh, sure. Come forth, Mean Merciless. You got it. Um, and what am I doing with these funny little guys? Um, I think it's probably just gonna start with going to the battle phase. I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah, that makes sense. Just, just eh. hitting. Eh. Um, in the main phase two, um, you know, the rank three pool has some good stuff. Um, it's not that deep, um, which is why we're making Jaja. Um, and we'll terrorize this. Oh, I suppose you will. What am I getting? Um, does Infernity Wildcat bounce? Um, 
It's just a fucking guy, you know? Yeah, you can have Infernity Wildcat. Ooh. Um... And, uh... Yup. <laughs> Stand by main... I mean, yeah! That basically does it. Um... Right, we're not, like... No, we're not out of stuff yet. Um, so we're gonna special summon Uni. Um, yeah. there's gonna be an attack mode just in case we lose one of our guys, but we have to reveal Shiryuo and put it back on top of the deck. Mm -hmm. But we will declare Uni, make itself a four, and add a guy from I deck to hand. See. I see the vision. And we will put Shari in hand. You know what the problem here is? Right, I have, I have two different goblins in grave. Which can summon themselves by detaching a material from your monster. Um, which would be really good if your monsters did anything with their material. <laughs> but they just don't. <laughs> this is, this, the funny part of this matchup is that Gunkin XE's monsters just never detach for some reason. Um, they really don't. We will go catch of the day. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Um, Alright, let me... Um, so that's two ships, that's I, one ship. I think, I think I still have everything at this stage, because I put the Shiryuo yeah. back in deck. Alright, well, I'm giving you the third Cheval. Okay. Um, I haven't normaled yet, have I? Oh. Um, nope. Yeah, it was just the Yeah, yeah, so yeah, far. yeah, okay, then that is not bad for me at all. Yeah, I will normal summon Shiryuo. Mm -hmm. We will declare its effect. Yeah. Summon Shari, and then I think we're just gonna put a Shari red on top of deck. Oh wow, we are out here stacking. Um, I don't think I'm gonna, <laughs> just like you taught me, go to battle phase first. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad I'm so influential. <laughs> just get in with 2900, baby. I mean, you know, it's an amount of damage. Um, and your goblins, does anybody like... What have we got here? Does they need... They, do they explicitly need me to detach to add? Um, or is no, there no, like, yeah. No, the goblins, in fact, are they just, like, through their own effect, detach a material from any monster to summon itself. Okay. So if you just, like, have an XE, I can just, I can just summon a bunch of weenies. What? Yeah, then, in that case... Okay, then I see the line. Um, are they quick effect? Um, yes. Yeah. In that case, we are not going to XE summon. We will link off for Geonator Transverser. Yeah! And, uh... <laughs> we will ask oh, you no. night. <laughs> Oh, goodbye, my Infernity Inferno. <laughs> um, and yeah! <laughs> Whoa, this is a close one. I also yeah, like, I appreciate- I also like, this one has made me okay with the fact that we both have one SP Little Knight and three yeah. Terrors. I think those are cards that have been like, on the other foot a couple times over the course of the match. And I think I'm like, learning to accept them as just part of the interplay. We can talk about yeah. it after a match if you feel differently, but yeah. No, 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 no listen, out of the conversation, out of the conversation now, because I've been thinking about this, I actually really like SP in our format. Because it yeah. turns out, when you don't have IP to make her um, at quick speed, <laughs> and I think more importantly, when you don't have accessible link ones, Meaning you have to commit some resources um, to make her with her first effect live. This card's actually kind of cool, right? Like game, like game two, I think I was considering making SP with just like two guys to try and break a board, but she's just like okay, but not that good if you don't get the first effect, and we have to kind of work hard to get the first effect. Even, I don't know. I like her. And even if, even in this situation, like it's nice that I have SP Little Knight, but you can summon Berserk Gorilla and beat her. I can. Um, unfortunately, I haven't drawn Berserk Gorilla. Uh-oh. Um, I will set one in pass. I need you to just not find something with 700 attack points. <laughs> um... Oh, oh, I know, I know the top card. The top card is, is Shari Red. Okay, okay. Okay, we will, um... Oh, but I have three Shiryu up. <laughs> I want to... Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! How many counters are on this? That actually matters. Um, I believe it's two. Does it matter? Um... 
<laughs> if this card is oh no 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 if it's destroyed by an opponent this card effect i thought if it was sent for a second nah that card be... sucks <laughs> <laughs> it's not good um i mean if you have something to link into with shadow you have, and FP, it have, kills me i have raw 10 it has 2200 attack oh and it's also not legal so you know there we go <laughs> raw 10's not oh not a legal summon i mean Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like I was like, when did we ban Rattan? Okay, fuck it. We 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 do it. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, we've got to find something here. For once in my life, oh. don't find Gene. Oh, oh. I mean, a psychic track. <laughs> <laughs> SP Little Knight. Um, we both crashed an SP. What is going on? Uh, yeah, that will do it. We, no. in the end, the Ikura that you you ordered will be the death of you. We have to. Oh wait, we do have to overlay. Oh, you Shit. You fall. Wait, 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 wait. Just, uh, Hold on. <laughs> Wait, shit. Oh my god, it's fucking bang on, dude. <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I mean, it's not like my goblins kill you. They just, like, sit there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, That is actually not bad. Let me check my graveyard really quickly. No! If I had a third, um... I have XZ's force in the graveyard, so if I had a... WAIT! Wait. <laughs> Overlay oh for Granosaurus Giga Cannon? No! <laughs> wait, wait, okay, um, um, okay. Summon is fine. Okay, uh, go to battle phase. Um, I have to do this now. Um, end of main phase. I think that's main phase only. Yeah, declare Clatter Sploder. Okay, what does Clatter Sploder do? Um, I'll special summon it by detaching a material. I guess we'll just detach the Ikura. Okay. Um, we'll go Clatter Sploder on summon to summon a goblin from grave. Um, if you can detach a second material from my Giga Cannon, you live the turn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's gonna be the mean merciless. Um, and then... Oh, but if you detach a second one, my engine is online. Oh, still end of main phase. Yeah. I will boom mark detaching the second material. Okay. Um, in that case, fuck this noise. We're gonna go uh, XE's armed fortress. Oh. We will there detach one. Uh, we will add uh this uh full armored xz's yep we will go to battle phase uh which of these do i least do i like most want in your graveyard i'll say sploder um sploder will get banished when it leaves the field yeah so then we, we'll, we'll take out sploder oh. set one card um full armored xz's yeah. yep Go into uh, Dark Knight Lancer. Yeah. So you can quick effect equip to this, and then it gets to attach a monster of material. Um, I don't love it that. Does for me. not target nicely. It surely does not. Um, I'm, I'm running out of really. Wait a fucking second. Wait, we can we can we can attempt a little bit of gaming. I am going to normal summon defrag dragon. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna link off defrag and mean merciless. Um, and I am gonna link summon a card that I think we haven't seen yet. Shocking, this hasn't come up. Dark the dark shamo gloomy. <laughs> Um, I think I might... Oh, do you have extension beyond this point? Because this might be the moment. Yeah, uh, the mean merciless, um, can summon herself by detaching from the, um, 
Uh, Dark Knight Lancer. But so that's all I have, like, in gray. Then you have, a. then you have, a. Rank 3, which... I can um, achieve to level 3. Yeah. Yes, I think we are going to, uh, declare full armored XCs. Um, yeah. Banish it. Um, we will target the Vespinado. And we will declare Dark Knight Lancer, uh, to eat up your gloomy. Yeah, you can eat my guy. All right. But all I wanted to do was summon your SP. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Very, I mean, literally, this, yes. Yes, it in is. In this situation, I would say okay, yes. Okay, here's the funny thing. If I go dog target SP and you just say okay and don't do anything, like, what do I do? <laughs> um, uh, but that's fine. I will mean merciless. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'll detach my dog. Yeah, I think what would be really good for you is if you destroyed the catch of the day. I think that would go really well for you. I think that's true. Oh, and actually, I'm not detaching my dock. I lied. I'm detaching the armor fortress. Gotcha. I don't want. I don't want you to have a guy with an Xyz as material. I think. Um. Yeah. So. And this means. Oh, um, it also gets the effect from full armor. So it's like ten thousand million billion attack points. And his own effect, for that matter. Oh, um... So this is gaining a total of 3,100. Oh, so it's at... 5,900. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, somehow... In the final pack opening episode of DPT... Um... <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're playing Marshmallow, baby. We're just playing Marshmallow. I don't know what to tell you. Oh um, my god. That, I mean, like, you know, you do what you gotta do. It can't be destroyed by battle this turn. Oh, until the end of the next turn. Um, I think that should wrap, should wrap it up. Generation Force. Oh, wait, oh, I may not true. have... Good one. Ooh, I don't have a third copy of XC's import is the only thing, so... Yes. We will, yes. You, you will, you will survive. <laughs> god damn it. Uh, we will set one card, and, uh, attacking does nothing, right? It doesn't detach or anything? Um, nope, in fact, attacking would actively let me out your guy. Oh, okay, so we are, we're gonna... Oh, wait, 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 Once per turn, you can target one Xyz in your graveyard equip it to this. This card is text. Oh. What it surely does. <laughs> okay, uh... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um... Oh, I'm gonna be so honest with you. End of main boom mock. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Uh, detaching the Jaja? Yep. <laughs> cool. Um... Boop. I'm trying out here. <laughs> and now we have an XZ's block. Alright, come on, baby. Come on. Off the top. Um... Set one pass. <laughs> oh, well, uh, Terrors beats it. A little too late on the draw there. Horror house. <laughs> uh, sets oh, it? Oh, Book of Moon it. <laughs> okay, uh, I lose my equip cards. Yeah, uh, but you do keep the attached material. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Um, <laughs> um, this thing has 1500 defense. It really does. Come on, baby. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Because I boom mocked on your last turn. Then we went my turn, your turn, then back to me, right? So I can activate boom mock here, I think? Yes, I believe so. Can I XZ's block a set XZ's monster? Wait. <laughs> this is a good question, actually. Wait. Can you? Wait, hold up a Look, fucking second. The text second. says detach one Xyz monster uh, material from a monster you control. This is undeniably a monster I control that has Xyz material. Oh my fucking god, it is. <laughs> um. Okay, no, no, I can still, still do this. I can still maybe get that. Um. Effect of Mean Merciless. 
the detach. Um. Yeah, we will just X Z's block so you don't get the detach. That's basically where we're at. Well, I mean, I still do kind of get the detach in a way, sort of. Well, you don't get the detach for your own nefarious deeds. True. Um. But you did use up the X Z's block. Yeah, and I can't summon another monster because the thing has no material remaining. <sighs> God, we are we are playing a game of Yu-Gi-Oh, ostensibly. <laughs> this set is absurd. I'll set and pass. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh flip summon. Um I'm yep. I'm just gonna check real quickly. <laughs> I don't think I can activate this Xyz force. Um yeah, no I cannot. Yeah. Oh god, fucking equip face down. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why, no. why, I will never remember the attacks of a single Yu-Gi-Oh card, but that's no. okay. Um. Uh. Beep. No. Um, wait, but it attacked his fifth material. Ah. Uh. What is it? What does it do? Oh, oh my god. Fucking boom mock. My son, my baby, my child. Oh, right, right, right. End of main. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> if you draw a second monster, I lose. <laughs> Um, that's actually genuinely, it's genuinely a question of whether or not it is correct. Oh, wait, 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 um, hmm. uh, but this is quick effect, so that doesn't do anything anyway. Um, I mean, we will attack. Yeah, you want to detach my guy? Yeah. Um, goodbye to my friend. And... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, there are still draws that do something here. Um, I'll set one and pass. Stand by main. Normal summon Shark Lancer. Yeah. Dude, I drew the fucking infernity face. Oh. Like, out the mantle. <laughs> But I don't have anything to detach to summon a goblin. No. Oh my god. Yu-Gi-Oh! So fucking set. Holy shit. Jeez. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. Um, I pulled, yeah, so I, so I'll just tell you right off the bat. I pulled Gaboga as well. So I'm not, not sure I want to hit goblin right now. I gotta like take a oh, look nah. at my... <laughs> 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 Folks, we have broken Sophie apparently. Come on, God. Oh no. Dude, I just realized. I don't know why I thought that Cla the shadow spell or summon from grave doesn't negate effects. I could have gone cla like on that turn. Cause, like you would summon a guy. I could have gone shadow spell or detach summon itself. Shadow spell or revive Gabanga. Um, boom mark detach the other material trigger Gabanga. Oh, I didn't. Do, I thought it negated the effects. I didn't know. I could have gabonged. <laughs> <laughs> very real. Very true. Damn. Oh no. Uh, sometimes you don't read a Yu-Gi-Oh card. We've learned I, this today and I, also every day. <laughs> I'm losing my fucking brain. What are we doing with this format? Um, I don't know. We're not banning SP. Can't make me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. SP, FSP lives forever, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. uh, Goblin is so fucking funny. Um, it is. And it's extra funny that somehow Infernity is the best ranked 3 engine we have available. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm hitting Goblin yet. I have my own engine. Yeah. I can, I can uh, gabing certain yeah. things if I want to. Yeah, I think I do know what I'm hitting. Um, oh, uh, which is that, you know, I'm not hitting Sioux yet. You know, I got nothing against Sioux yet. Um, but I will hit the one thing you have in here that I do not, um, which is Full Armor Dark Knight Lancer. Yeah, this is a, uh, whoop, sorry, Uni, you're staying. Uni, no, you're safe. You're uh, safe, Uni. Yeah, 
Full armor dark lan uh, dark knight lancer is the main argument to playing this deck again. It's a little bit awkward. We are playing XZ's force, uh, which mm. is this deck's singular uh, phantom nightmare contribution, uh, the single phantom nightmare contribution to this deck list, uh, because it is searchable off of generation force, which gives us six copies of a card that can make the dark knight lancer, and then we have. Um, which I think I sided out because I thought I was, like, afraid of your deck after game one. Um, the uh, XZ's Ramona, which detaches uh, from monsters you oh, control. Oh, Ramora, you mean? Ramora. Ramona. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is my Ramona. idea. His name is Ramona. <laughs> Um, but we, yeah, we have two copies of Remora that we cited out, and otherwise, we're just playing Sue Ships, baby. This deck is pretty oh, mid hell, in yeah. a vacuum. It is, <laughs> Every... but I mean, we haven't seen it post Shari Red. Not really, I mean, I was playing it with fucking, um, Super Heavy, but that's, Yeah, you know, the but they were, they were much. incredibly not the main character of that particular mm -hmm. match. Uh, but yeah, um, Shari Red is a really good new support card. Uh, Catch of the Day, significantly less so. Uh, mm -hmm. But it is funny how, like, of the main deck guys, Uni's always been good as a free special summon and a main deck search. Uh, Sharyuo became a lot better when we got additional copies of uh, Gunkin Sushi Shari and a slightly better search target that you might be playing multiple copies of. Nothing was done to make Gunkin Sushi Ikura better. Not a single goddamn thing. I, I mean, technically, you know, you have three more copies of Shari, so if you gamba, you win more often. <laughs> you know? Sure, that is, that is technically correct. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Really cute little XZ's deck, uh, certainly has, a uh, has, uh, consistency with which it can get to its plays, but a relatively low ceiling. Yeah. Uh, without, yep. without and, an and armored got... XZ's sort of play. Yeah, that's kind of what my deck was too, because, like, Gabonga into, um, Boomok, you know, for the quick effect Gabonga attack is pretty good, um, but, you know, it's just one disruption. So, that's why I'm just playing a bunch of stupid-ass trap cards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did their job. Terrors of the Overroot is still good. Um, Maze Attraction Thrill Train is good now that Ledger Book is gone. XC's block putting in a bit of work this time. I'm yeah, actually wondering. I'm actually wondering for our yeah. dumb if you want to hit that engine at all. Just the Generation 4 stuff. Um, I'd be fine with that. I don't know. I... I wouldn't be offended um, if you wanted to get rid of Xyz block. The card just, just does just keep showing up. Randomly. Yeah, Xyz block has been here since the beginning. I was playing it because mainly in main because I was afraid of SP Little Knight. Uh, mm. But it was very useful in a lot of situations. Provide the I mean, Susu ship with good. like a okay. negate. Uh, yeah, we'll ban. We'll be done. Xyz block. Yeah. Because, like, the other payoff is import, and import is funnier. <laughs> like, I can take every effect that slurps up a monster under an X just makes me giggle. <laughs> it's just such um, a weird thing to do. Yeah, like I said, uh, there's not a huge amount in terms of goblin stuff that you have that I do not. So, uh, for right now, um... Yeah, I guess we are getting more towards the end, so I do need to start thinking of the finale. And in that regard, I would like to ban the Despi of Fusion that makes all my guys zero. Um, it's oh, like Coritus. Yeah, I'll Coritis, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, I will go ahead and take my ban on Coritus this time because that engine is still very strong. Well, that leaves me with one total. Despia for you then to go into. Non ideal. That is how I like it, folks. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, that will uh, lead into the second match. Um, and also our mid match pulls, which hopefully we'll find funny things to yeah. work with. We will. I have one last thing to say before we exit this match. 
And that thing is, of course, Gabonga! <laughs> Go away, snake and stuff. Alright, very interesting mirror match out of the way, and I think we are gonna go eight packs deeper into Phantom Nightmare. There are two super rare Ray Raptors we could find in the set that would take our pool to the next level, so fingers crossed we have found, uh, you know, super rares are guaranteed, they're not that hard to find, we just haven't found those two specifically, so fingers crossed that we find them. Um, that's not going to be it right off the bat. Um, an, an aroma super rare. That's exactly what we're looking for. Ultimate gob, a bi Goblin Biker Doug Charger. Uh, another one of that. That's cool. Another Keith is kind of interesting. You know, we'll definitely probably play Goaty if we're not playing Raid Raptor next time. Pack number five, Sunset Beat. Um, not the one we're looking for. Pack number six. Walls of the Imperial Tomb, pack number seven. Terrors of the After Root. Um, fascinating. Interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll look at this. Okay, last pack. Last chance to set up a Raid Raptor build for next time. Can we find it? Ugh, no. A fucking Magus Spectre at this stage. Goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, we will add that to the collection and probably gonna be some fish stuff again. You can't stop me from opening LLB. You can't do it. I'm playing Skullthorven. Fuck the haters. <laughs> God, Trap 4 would be shockingly better than if it wasn't banned. I'm pretty sure Death had one, so I ended up banning it. No. Come on, man. One more Skullthorven. I need one copy of Skullthorven. I am losing my fucking mind. Where is Skull Solvent? It's a common. No, okay, wrong zombie, wrong zombie. Second trap hole, hilarious. Please, I'm begging. I am just begging. Skull Solvent. No! How? How can this fucking be? I've opened so much LOB. And there's just no- Just- Just- I am in agony. I'm suffering. I'm in pain. Oh my god. Please, pack opener, let me summon my scullies. Please! I guess we can toss this fucking hair of a terrible in the collection, though. came together really nicely. I was a little bit iffy about playing Goaty again since I technically have played this deck twice though once only as a supplemental engine to Super Heavy. Nonetheless we've been doing pretty well about variety this season and it was trying to run something new but you know what all the recent support for a fish synchro strategy has made the deck feel like new. We have a bunch more uh, Goaty main deck monsters, and what's more is that they're really, really good. We'll start there as it's the central engine of the deck. Shif is still really good, but Keef is a fantastic new addition to the deck. You can banish itself and a uh, monster your opponent controls whenever your opponent summons a monster in order to summon a fish from your banished pile. The Keef combos really well with Seeks? Is that how you pronounce this? I'm honestly not sure. Uh, but they create a really powerful resource loop together, and they're really easy to get into rotation with our six synchro, so it is a welcome change to the Goaty strategy. We get to combine these new Goaty monsters with the White Sardine, White Sunfish package. Whenever you have both of these monsters in your hand, you basically just get to special summon three fish for free. And given the sheer number of cards we have that let us search fish at this stage, it's actually very easy to get this combo online, at least by turn three. Besides Seeks, Keef, and Sh Shif, uh, we're also playing Ixip, Omen of the Goaty. I wish TCG thinks this card is bad. I respectfully disagree in this format. Paired with Butuniful Princess or the most distant deepest depths, Ixip can save hands that would otherwise be a brick. We still have Lifeless Leafish, which is really good in this deck, and then uh, we are playing two Shocktopus. Uh, this is an 
a very good Yu-Gi-Oh card, but we needed a certain number of level 4 fish monsters to feel comfortable. Uh, and it's kind of some funny to summon this off of Beautiful Princess whenever you summon it off of Keef during your opponent's turn. Like last time, we're playing two Hop Ear Squadron and one Melfi Caddy. We also have the Dino Wrestler Coalacillat Fossil Dig package. Uh, this is just a free tuner for our deck. Helps us make the six very easily, so it's pretty much a must-play at this stage. Oh yeah, and by the way, this deck might look a little monster light until you realize that every single spell card is a searcher distant deepest depths banishes a fish and then searches a goatee and white reincarnation gets us one of our white combo for the trap cards one double hooking funny to say that this card has been power crept since it's discard one to summon two from graveyard and we would have killed to have this at pretty much any other point in the series. We will, however, be running one of them because the whites benefit from being special summoned for the graveyard, and we have one really funny synchro to summon off of this. We're playing two Goatee Chain, just an additional way to get Goatee's interpretation that pairs really well with Keith specifically. Three Manadium reframing, this is just an Omni when you have a synchro on the field, it's really, really good, and one Tears of the Overroot. For the extra deck, we've got one Fish Lamp. This is a cool card that we're not going to summon super frequently because the white cards water lock us but it's uh very cool when it goes off two white aura porpoise synergizes really well with the deck summons a fish from graveyard can summon a second one if you have two of the same name and it banishes cards to not be destroyed really nice stuff one juju and arian post of course is back and better than ever we've got three Askan. we've got one enigmaster pack bit this card is hilarious it is a really good going second card really good way to begin to break boards uh just just hilarious two goatee of the deep beyond maybe cope but i could see a summoning two over the course of a long game one ruddy rose dragon very funny to summon this during sophie turn one gigantic sprite can unironically unbrick us or at least get us into a keef line uh one abyss keeper and sp little knight the side is red potan two Aerorca. this card is super awkward because it's not fish type and it's also not fucking water for some reason but it synergizes well enough with the deck that we'll probably bring it in going second two lightning strike kaiju three twister two maze attraction thrill train two more tears of the overroot and two the transmigration prophecy Let's see if we can win the last one of these. Well, I was really hoping this would be scroll solvents, but the pack opener hates me, so we can't do that yet. So instead, I'm going to take this opportunity in our last regular match to celebrate something that DPT doesn't often celebrate. And, folks, we are playing Info Noble Knight, the premier hot guy archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! And this deck is not like the Info Noble you would expect if you're familiar with the DCG. Constructed Info Noble is a big ol' wombo combo deck that hand loops your opponent and sets up 200 negates. We don't have any other tools to do that. What we do have is a lot of real good trap cards. Um, Horn of Oliphant is a non-targeting pop if we have an equip spell on Field and Grave, and potentially a sword charge in certain situations. Then, until Noble Arms are needed once again, one of the best support cards ever printed, this card is part of duality that's also emergency teleport. It is just incredible. And we get a couple other bonuses like Expendable Die, Omega Judgment, and the Terrors of the Overrut Searcher. Meaning, this deck is pretty well lined up to be a really effective trap-based control deck. Our monster lineup's a bit janky. We have some Info Nobles, Triple Astolfo, not ideal because this is once per duel, but we want to see names. Um, Malgus Recovery, Ricardetto, another very fun name. And Ogier, as well as Turpin, are set up. And then our one regular Noble Knight is Pelinor, which is additional removal. Other than that, we're playing a bit of extra support. Aka the Flame Buddy is a very funny little card. Brushfire Knight can set up our Grave Yard stuff for combos. And we might as well play Ball Iron because we are on a Warrior deck. Other than that, we're on to take a whole bunch of equip spells, just so many equip spells, and one copy of Glory to tutor them, and then just a whole bunch of trap cards. So many trap cards. Truly an unhealthy amount of trap cards. In the extra, we've got a bunch of synchros we could potentially go into. The power tools are really good in this deck. Ravel can search for the Info Noble equips, and all of our Info Noble specific synchros, and then a few links SP, Rotten, Early, and Dispatch Parazzi, plus the Merrymaker Sargas line. 
ridiculous we can potentially get into a spot where we can start fall on. The side deck is all normal stuff, um, except for Vain Betrayer, which is the funniest way I could find to side against something like a Goblin deck or a Return of Susha. So, yeah, this is... I d this is not exactly what I thought I'd be playing for the last regular match of DPT. I mean, I can't believe I'm bringing the boys to this one, but... I mean, the deck seems pretty good, and I like winning. It would be really embarrassing if I didn't win after how well I started this season, so... Come through for me on this one, guys. Welcome back, YouTube! Um, last match was really cool. Uh, I had a really fascinating dynamic where on one hand, your goblins summoned by detaching, and on the other, my guys got to summon bosses if you detached from my guys. Uh, so really weird back and forth that made a cool game. And what's also cool is that I am in the lead for the first time in the How seventh did this era. Happen? It feels How? good, folks. It How? is simply that easy. As it turns out, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, as it turns out, Yu-Gi-Oh! is not hard. I I'm lying. Yeah. It was so hard. This season has been so difficult. It was oh. not easy. We can do that, Smokey. Oh, you and me. It was not easy to get here, and it will not e be easy to get to the end, but we will do our best, and uh, I will do my best with a deck that I am pretty excited about. It seems pretty nutty in testing, uh, so we will see. <laughs> you know, I'm not even going to try to predict how good this deck is. <laughs> I've not been very good at that, historically. Um, it, you know? <laughs> I think it'll be fun. I think I'll have a good time. And in the okay. end, that's really what matters. Um, but also, I'm going to kill you. Oh, no! In game. So as it turns I mean, out, <laughs> as it turns out, you are going to kill me in the RPS. That's a good start. This doesn't happen very often anymore. <laughs> All right. Good, good luck. Have fun. Last one. Oh, baby. All right. For my first move of the final regular match of DPT. Behold, a man! <laughs> oh, Infernoble Knight, okay. Oh yeah, we are playing some absolute fellas in this one. <laughs> and We're then, for my next dudes. friend, I am going to equip it with Infernoble Arms, the Hot Claire. <laughs> I apologize to everyone for harming the Nancy card. Sophie apologizes <laughs> on behalf of all cultures everywhere. Yep, yep, yep. Um, this equip doesn't do much yet, but I got a man. I got his equip. And you know what else I got? Is his three favorite face down back row. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Three is a lot of back row, so we will see what we can do about this. Um, Okay, so if the equip. So if I destroy. Uh, Magus, without destroying the equip card first, you get to destroy one of my cards. And that's basically what we're looking at in terms of boards. Yeah, up in terms of face-up stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we gotta start with one of your old friends, Sophie. I'm gonna activate Dread. Fossil Dig. Yeah! <laughs> and, yeah no, sure. and it's gonna fucking happen again. Dino Wrestler Cola Silat! Yeah! The Dino second, the <laughs> second best, the second best Dino Wrestler strikes again. We're gonna special summon it. There it is, baby. It's Cyber Dragon. <laughs> it it's is. Battle Cyber Dragon. That's crazy. Um, and I will follow that up by normal summoning Butuniful Princess. You may have just dis just dis uh, guessed based on the Coalescilla what direction we were going in, but this probably yeah. confirms it. Yeah. Um, anything on summon slash use of effect? Um, nope, the effect is fine. Alright, um, we are going to go Lifeless Leafish. And with that Leafish that is lifeless, we are going to send a fish from deck to grave. And, uh, I'm gonna be real, this is a new card, I have no earthly idea how to pronounce it. I think it Seeks? Is that correct? Yo, is that wrong? No, it seeks. Seeks. All right. Yeah. Thinking is here. Okay. Summon. Yo, this bitch fish Stratos. This card is actually quite solid. Yes. Okay. So I think on resolution here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate 
Expendable die. Yeah. Sacrifice my man to target a card and destroy it. I think I'm gonna go for the leaf bash. Okay. Then I'll draw one. Also, side note, I was just looking at Expendable Dies art when I was waiting to activate it. Can we can we talk about how good the spell from the dark is looking here? Like I um yeah no this is despair from the dark dead. is one of my all time homies and this makes me this makes me sweat a little bit this is like I have not seen him in this light before God damn more like daddy from the dark <laughs> <laughs> now um does the equip card go off here um you got to send to the graveyard with the equip monster. Oh my god, honestly, I didn't even realize it would do that. It totally yeah, does. This is, yeah, this is a pretty good move. This isn't bad. It totally does. Wow, that's better than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these cards aren't bad. This isn't bad. I was just like, I want to pop the non tuna. Um, what also isn't bad, though, is the most distant, deepest depths. Um, I think, wait, because that says when this card is banished, you can banish, summon it. Okay, so we have to do this now. On activation of the field spell, I will do -do blow the horn of Odie Font. Okay. And okay. by banishing Hope Claire from the graveyard, I'll destroy one card on the field. Um, yeah, unfortunate. Now surely I have follow-up. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, you know, it do be like that sometimes. Um, yeah, um, we almost have enough uh, fish in grave to leaf fish, but we don't is the thing. Um, yeah, then I guess we gotta go to end phase and Ooh. special summon Melfi Caddy. <laughs> oh, meow? <laughs> it's my friend. Milfy Caddy has been relevant in a shockingly large number of decks. Card is good. Jess, you know, I just love your cat so much. I feel the need to give it a little gift. And the little gift I'm going to give it is the equip spell Infernoble Arms Durendal. Fascinating. Um, um, I mean, it's pretty good. It's not bad. I'll activate Durendal because it's equipped to a monster to send it to Grave and add a level 5 or lower Fire Warrior from deck to hand. You got it. Um, and I think... Oh, do we have to go for this guy? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna go for another entry in the list of Fantastic Seven's names. I will add Infernoble Knight to the Goddess <laughs> Very true. So I'm not real. apologizing for that one. <laughs> All right, I'll, uh, I will normal recall death door and I'll activate the effect targeting the Malgus to summon it. Cool. We will. Uh, Caddy's getting the fuck out of here. Bye bye. Goodbye, cat. And oh, wrong button. Oh, bye. Um, in the process, we are going to add from deck to hand Hop Ear Squadron. It doesn't do oh, anything right yeah. now, but uh, just just you wait. God, it's insanely funny though. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll summon back my good friend Maugas. Um, and then, we're gonna Synchro Summon, a level 5 monster. I'm gonna Synchro Summon, Info Noble Knight, Captain Roland. Ooh, alrighty. So, a couple things gonna happen here. Um, I'm gonna activate Chain Ink 1, Effective Malgus Engrave. Um, with, which will let me do a little mini part of Everest, shuffling back 3 Fire Warriors or Noble Arms from Grave or Banished into deck to draw one. Um, and then chain link to Roland effect. So during the end phase of the turn, I'll foolish burial and equip spell and then add a warrior from deck to hand. You got it. All right, we will just poke for a hot 2k with Roland. Oh, and, and I'll, I'll also remember to resolve Malgus's effect. I just said I activated. It's the other thing I'll do. This, <laughs> this is so true. I was like, oh, I guess that's also end phase. I wasn't gonna question it. Damn, that's wild. All right. Uh, main phase two. <laughs> I will just set one, proceed to end phase, and we will resolve Roland. Um, let's see. I don't know if it really matters with one of these, like, Thwart Ash. You know, I'm just gonna dump the Shuffled Back Hope Claire. And I can add any Warrior from back to hand. Yes, Tower Intriguing. 
And I think it's gonna be, hmm, because this doesn't do as much as I want it to. You know what? I'm just actually gonna add Fosado up here. Uh, Therion Ball Ain. So true! All right. I've done it. Stand by main. That is not a bad one. All right. Um, I guess we will start this way. I'm gonna normal summon Shif. Yeah. Uh, distant deepest depths. Um. Oh yeah, this guy does that. Yeah, it is not bad as they say. Um, we will go the most distant deepest depths. Thinking here. So you've used your normal already. Could have more follow-up. Uh, we're gonna try to just keep doing this, though. Horn of Artifon! <laughs> toot toot. Yeah, sure. For sure. Um... Alright, um... Do you get to do anything else, or am I good? Uh, continue? nope. It's just a pop. Right. Uh, we will follow that up with White Reincarnation. Yo, me <laughs> when I come back from the dead! <laughs> <laughs> we are, if you have no interruption. <laughs> You're good. That is truly a wild first line of text. Like, uh, I know why it's like that, but what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna special summon Fish Sardine by sending a Fish Sardine from deck to graveyard. God, that's so true. That's so goddamn true. <laughs> and now I'm gonna special summon a white sunfish, and in the process, special summon my white sardine as a tuner. Yo? <laughs> Wait, you're cooking. <laughs> the white. The, the so white. Powerful. So, yeah, that's the. Uh, we have, like, the new goatee stuff, but we also have the whites. The <laughs> idea being that white sardine and white sunfish together create a two card combo that summons three guys without a normal. Yeah. Um, but all the nodi, all the goatees needed to become good again was some white to save them. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> uh, we are going to go for another new guy, white aura porpoise. Porpoise. Oh, we were attempting oh, to bye. declare its effect. Um, to special summon white sunfish. The combos. And white sunfish is a tuner. God, these fish are such experts at synchro summoning. Uh, which means we get to special summon Arion Post Serpent of the Goaty! There it fucking is. Um, we are going to banish from deck, uh, Keith, Merc of the Goaty! <laughs> this one's also uh, pretty good. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, um, wait a minute, can I do that? So yeah, if I crash Porpoise, I get to use its effect to banish my guy from Grave, right? Yeah. Uh, you surely would, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, then let's go ahead and try to do a little crash. Thinking here, because this thing says if it's banished, banish a fish, summon it, on summon. Yeah, I think that's too good to let you do. Um, we're gonna actually overrun here, because this card does not destroy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, and I, I will give you the Seeks from the graveyard. Yeah, that seems okay. Okay. Um, we will clear your guy. Out. Um, main phase two. Wanna um, put that fat off face down? That funny little fish? Not particularly. Um, yeah, well, this isn't a bad, this isn't a bad board for sure. We get to go caddy, um, end the turn. Yeah, and I then, mean, uh... I, I know the hand is hoppy, uh, and you're summoning two guys. <laughs> I mean, we have, I mean, like, Keith is actually a little bit of a unit. Um, of course you know the, uh, how the shift combo works, but Keith gets to banish itself and a monster from your side of the field to summon Butuniful Princess, at which point I get to trigger Butuniful Princess. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah, the ideal uh, combo is, of course, Seeks and Keith, because at that point it's just a resource loop that banishes a card a turn. Uh, but Butuniful Princess really helps in getting this card online as well, if you're uh, like me and getting your fucking Seeks bounced around. Yeah, you know, this is a good spot for Shaw. Alright, I'm gonna normal summon a classic old man. Noble Knight Pelinor. <laughs> um. 
Do we want to go for this? Uh, yeah, you know what? The early bird gets the worm. We're going to banish the Keef and banish your Pelinor. Uh, I believe Keef is special summon only. Uh, we're gonna not do that. I, it's looking like we're not gonna do that. Um, I'll, yeah. I'll let you play it out a little bit. I will try. Um, I'll equip- I will attempt to equip Pelinor with Durendal. Hilarious that Durendal will not get a pop if I banish your guy. Cool. It's very true. Um... um... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we should uh, just go ahead and not let you get the search. We will, we will do the, we will do the line. Ask yeah. hands out. Um, chain link one, uh, chain link two. Uh, we will banish you. Add from deck to hand. Um, what if we just grab another sunfish? Because uh, we have the leaf fish engraved, so we can just recycle all that shit. Um, arguably, I should have recycled all that shit last turn, but it's fine. I wouldn't argue about that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we go that, we go that, we go that. Yeah, I think sunfish is the best, uh, is my best bet. Yeah. And you're banishing my friend, you're banishing my buddy. Yes, we're banishing your Aww. buddy and also ass can. Uh, and Askan will trigger its effect by banishing Shif. I'm sure it will. Alright, well. <laughs> um, you know the last card. It's gonna be Bulline targeting Malgas. Um. Yeah, so does Keith not work here, what I'm realizing? No, it will. You don't want to get summoned. Oh! Uh, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, so I'll summon this, I'll equip it with my friend. And we will indeed keef. Yeah. Um, we'll banish your guy. Goodbye, Therion. We're gonna go Butuniful Princess. Immediately use Butuniful yeah. Princess's effect. I will effect. also check on Malgas, because it was sent to the graveyard. Okay, then you get your guy for, um, uh, thing first, and I'll get my thing second. Is yeah, I we're think... gonna go... Yeah, shuffle back three... Wait, 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 I should take you resolve first, because I'm trying to play out, so I'm playing like one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, then I'm going to show you the best well, fucking, uh, the, 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 the strongest mother, uh, hmm, hold on. Um, well, we can do that. We can also Jump do on that. my desktop over here. Okay, I'm just finishing resolving, and I'm drawing a card. It doesn't yeah. really matter the order here. Um, fuck it. I'll show you the best beautiful princess target of all time shock to puss yeah <laughs> so what are the, you doing here little buddy the <laughs> really funny thing about playing this deck is that you've seen fish before in this uh era that I'm are really strong fish. shark uh yeah the the sharks that are good for xe summoning but all of you all of them xe's lock so we can't actually play them in this bruise so we had to dig a little deep to find level four fishies <laughs> to play and that sure is a fish. <laughs> it sure is a fish with four stars. Alright, well, I've drawn something that would have gone crazy if I'd drawn it slightly earlier, but does nothing now. Dude, your fish have been walking out. What the fuck? <laughs> the new... Yeah, so, um... I was a little bit disappointed uh, whenever I didn't get enough stuff to uh, put together the Raid Raptor list I was looking for, but the new... Goaty support combined with the f new sun uh white cards uh actually like yeah, take this, this deck to the net take this deck to the next level yeah um, like i knew it would be good i didn't think it would be this good it uh and it's also like uh the um keef uh keef and uh, like, we didn't even see the Keith Seeks, uh, loop this time around, uh, and, uh, hilariously, Cola Silat was a central part of the strategy. I guess it is. I I'm not worried, it. though. I'm not worried. My men will do it. Okay, we will see. <laughs> Game two, babies. Look, I don't care if we lose as long as we find one more skull summit. That's all I want. That's all I need. No. Please! Please, I'm begging you, no! Oh my, we have to win another game. We have to win one more game. I need it so bad, please. Oh my god. Ugh.
What giant out here for? All right, good first game for the fish. Um, I'm a little nervous going into this because if we lose game two, these will be the last four packs I ever open on DPT. Um, let's make them count. Let's see if we can find those raid raptors. Uh, no. Fucking magispectors. Um, another high rarity goblin guy. We have kind of the same problem as Sophie where our three pull isn't that deep. So, I don't know. We could, like, try some funny wind-up shenanigans here, but I don't know. Last pack? <sighs> Fucking Magispector Porcupine staring at me. Okay, let's see if we can take game two. Alright, um, fish have had yeah, uh, quite a dude. season in sevens. <laughs> The fish are so fucking strong. I'm just like, if I don't win this one, I'm gonna fucking have no mercy in the band. <laughs> yeah, need, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need one more win, Jeff. I need packs. I'm so <laughs> close. Oh, oh my god. Alright, let's do this. God, it really didn't matter at all, did it? <laughs> I'm going first. Fuck you. Yeah. Um... It's gonna work better this time. <laughs> hmm. Um... Yeah, I mean, not an amazing hand, but you know, it sets some trap cards, and that's really what we're here to do. <laughs> it sets some traps, and it also sets a fella. Yeah, okay. Um, just, <laughs> okay. Uh, the funny uh, going second texts are uh, kind of biting me in the ass a little bit here, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> beautiful princess. Oh, she's back, baby. My um, princess. We are going to special summon this time. Um, a little bit interesting how this works, but I think it's going to be fine. Uh, we will go Keef, Merc of the Goatee. Oh, you surely will. We will set one card, proceed to end phase, and special summon Melfi Caddy. Well, that's not what I expected, I'll be honest with you. Okay, okay. I mean, this is about the pace of game this deck wants to be playing, so, uh, you know. Standby uh, phase. Yeah. We are going to banish Keef for Goaty Chain. Okay. We are going to special uh, summon the Seeks. Since yep. we are in standby phase, we'll grab... Uh, well, uh, I, guess, I think we have to resolve this first, but yeah. Well, no, Seeks is standby phase at the next turn, after this was banished. Oh! And I did this combo a little bit incorrectly. That's fine. I'm not concerned. Uh, uh, Seek's effect. Yup, yup. Uh, we are going to add from deck to hand. Yeah, I think it's just going to be white sardines. And then... Um... Yeah, we unfortunately do have to banish the Seeks. Oh, goodbye. All right, are we good? Uh, yeah. All right, we are just chilling straight up. I mean, you probably noticed my deck is not particularly aggressive, so it's not like I'm going to be killing you. Um. Well, don't don't do too much, or you'll scare my caddy away. I know. Listen, it doesn't take much to scale your caddy, okay? <laughs> it's true. She is a little she is a little timid, but she's doing her best. She's doing her best. She is doing her best. I cannot deny that. Um, I'm gonna flip some in the best card in my deck. I'm talking about brush fire night. Uh this is normal or special summon only. Whoopsies. Yeah. Um yeah, hilariously, if I have a removal spell, I can out the caddy without triggering it, but that seems um, like something that wouldn't be very useful and I shouldn't do, is the thing about it. We have a little bit of a cute line, though. Do we even? It's actually a little bit slunk because of how that was. Uh, I don't really want to commit too much here. Uh, but I will summon the other best card in my deck. I am, of course, talking about Aka the Flame Buddy. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is a cutie pie. Oh yeah, I got a buddy going on. Um, so I will just go battle and go. Eh. Oh oh oh! Since you normal summoned a guy. 
Yeah, I mean, you can do it on a tap deck, deal. It doesn't really matter. Oh, this card has text. It's incredible. Uh, we'll grab Hop Ear and uh, we'll eat uh, 2,900. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then main phase two. Um, yeah, I think he worked out really well. Uh, please don't read too much into this. Um, I'll use Acar's effect to turn Brushfire Knight into an equipped spell that gives it 500 attack. Yeah. Um... And then I will set one in pass. Cool. Stand by main. Alrighty, we're gonna see how far we can get with this. Uh, white sardines. Oh yeah, you also get the um keep in the standby. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually uh gonna be nice to have for sure. Um, I can imagine. Yeah, we'll go white sardine. White. And we will go uh white sunfish. Yeah. Um, on summon. Been a bit since we've seen this fella. I will activate Omega Judgment. Um, ah, okay. Targeting my Brushfire and Sunfish and the Sardine that's a tuna. Sure, okay. And then because Brushfire was destroyed, I'll trigger its effect to four Lesh of Fire. Yeah, that's not bad. It's the combo. Um, question is what fire do I want in the grave? I wonder if it's just, you know, this little fella. Yeah. I think the funniest thing I can send to that is a Stolfo. This is gonna go crazy three times from now. <laughs> Very true. Um, well, I guess I'll show, uh, activate, uh, White Reincarnation. Um, this is the... Adds one yeah, of the whites. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Cool. We will... God, what um... a horrifying card. <laughs> Uh, we will, um, uh, with the Trump Rally card, we will grab a White Sunfish. Uh, uh -huh. this is a hard one, so we can't use its effect, but what we, we can use it for is the funny tech in this card. I am going to summon Sophie Eorka! No <laughs> It no banishes fish! Shot. It banishes I... fish! The synergy is crazy! <laughs> I, I fucking, I, I, I hate, I fucking, I, I, I have to overrun that. <laughs> Set your fucking sardine. I motherfucking love Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, um. Oh, that's so funny. Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we are wa yeah, we are from the extra deck water locked, so we're pretty limited yeah. in what we can do at this stage. AR walk up. <laughs> Astounding. What are you? The fuck? You want to say something to me? Say it to my motherfucking Nelfie Caddy. God, that's so true. That's so correct. Um, I mean, that's a pretty good one. Um, I want normal summon. Noble Knight. Hello. Uh, goodbye. Uh, bye bye, Kitty. Uh, Hop Ear Squadron, and I am out of Melfi Caddy activations. Rep. Um, I'm trying to think exactly what I want to do. If I want to do this. Oh no, that's a that. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I would attempt to end the main phase. Um, we will declare Hop Ear Squadron. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna sink off all the monsters. Um, Hoppyo can only use one non-tuna. We will sink off one of the monsters, and that's true. It is going to be white sardine, and uh, yeah, fuck it. I guess we'll just make fish lamp. <laughs> I, yeah! I, I actually have way more useful level fours uh, that I probably should have played rather than this one. I was just really far in the tank. Oh. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, I mean, this is a pop when I kill that. That's not bad. Well, eventually it'll be a pop. Yeah, yeah. It's sometime in the graveyard. I'm still going to battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna clear um the keys and um and I will just go eager clear this lamp. Sure. Uh, then main phase two... Oh, I guess I can. 
Ah, uh, that's fine. Probably not doing this yet anyway. Um, so I could go for that. Which would be cute. I'm just not sure it actually achieves anything. Well, I'm gonna activate the effect of Astolfo in the graveyard, alright? Yeah. I'm gonna banish, I'm gonna banish Astolfo and, uh, you know, you better prepare yourself for two of my standby phases from now. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. This is so real, so true. Um, and I will just set one and pass. Okay, standby main, um... Nothing coming back for standby, how strange. <laughs> so weird. I don't love it. This is not my favorite thing. Um, okay, so we got that. We can at least set up that, and that's probably worth it. Um, yeah, okay, I see the line. I am going to uh, flip up the white sardines. And there it is, baby. It's the fucking sardine. I'm going to normal summon Aerorca. <laughs> <laughs> you got to fucking... Um, no, I'm thinking on summon. Do so I have to do something about this again? I, I feel so bad, but like, on summon, horror house, book the air orca. No! Come on! <laughs> I can't let you air orc me, I'm sorry. No! <laughs> it's scary! I had such a funny combo. Oh, I dear. hate comedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do anything. <laughs> Where are my okay. cola silex? <laughs> Where are you, dinosaur? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go standby. I am gonna go main. And... Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, let me... That's turn one on Astolfo. I'll get the effect next turn. Huzzah. Um... I don't think what I want to do here, because there is stuff I can do. Okay, I would equip Pelinor with Info Noble Arms Almas. Yes. Or whatever. I don't fucking know. And I won't find out. Um, I'm gonna go Pelinor to destroy the Almas and the Sardine and draw one card. Sure. Okay. Okay, that is a card that does something, maybe. Um, but for now, it's just the guy we're gonna see. I will run out my good friend, Info Noble Knight Malgas. Yeah. Um, and the Pelinor can't attack this turn, so he might as well do this now. I'm gonna overlay Aka and... Actually, I'm overlay... Am I using... Yeah, we'll do this. I'll overlay uh, Malgas and Pelinor. No, I lied to you. I am using Aka. <laughs> yeah, 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 because of that. Okay. Overlay these two. Um, and I will summon a good friend, Springan's Merrymaker. Ah, uh, yes. Good old <sighs> Merrymaker. Um, I won't be using the effect, um, but I will be turning it into Gigantic Champion Sargass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I will be searching a Therion. Or a Springan. Yeah. Could be a Springan in here. Oh, there's not a Springan in here. I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's just this guy. Um, and I will declare ball iron. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go summon this, equip rush fire. Um, and we'll commit some acts of violence. And, uh, you note know the Aorca yeah. defense, so this is lethal on board. You got it. Oh my god, that actually worked. Let's go, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because I Two like. More packs. Two more packs. Um, yeah, because I have, like, the Hopier Squadron, but that doesn't do anything. I guess I could have sent my Melfi Caddy to die in the war, but that's not really where I'm at emotionally at this point in the series. No, it would have been so cool. <laughs> yeah. I, I also have, I also have a way to quick effect, equip the, um, equip the, the attack twice. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, so, it, see, that's why you don't send your Caddy to die in the war, because it doesn't cool. accomplish anything. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Alright. I'll be back. Scorch Solvent. Scorch Solvent. I am fucking begging for Scorch Solvent. This is our last chance. I just need one. It's not in this pack. Okay. Pack number two. LOB. The final pack I will open in DPD. Show me the ultimate last pack luck. I summon Scorch Solvent! Fuck. <laughs> 
You've got to be fucking with me! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is so sad. Do you think I won't play the deck with one skull saw then? I will, and I'll do. You can't fucking stop me. Uh, but I really hoped for more, so, uh, rip. <laughs> I guess we'll take this fear out of the hop, huh? Alright, so, um, was Air Orca the optimal going second side deck in this situation, given that it is neither level 4 or a fish? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not, but you used up two tears of the overroot, so who can say? I really did. I am going first this time, though. That is shocking to me. Making it the trap deck to go second. How? Alright, let's see what we can do. Um. Yeah, okay, this does it. This does it. That's fine. Uh, for a second, I was a little bit, hmm, but then I realized, I figured it out. I normal summon Beautiful Princess. Yeah. We're going to banish it to special uh, summon Shif, and because I banished a fish, I get to go Ixeep. Yeah. Yeah, Ixeep is like, it's slow, but it actually, like, this hand would be a brick without him exactly being able to special summon oh, itself. So it. you do what you fucking, you do what you gotta. Um, we are going to make the first turn play. It is going to be Arian Post, Serpent of the Goatee. Uh, we are going to banish. Um, I mean, it's clearly just. Uh, I mean, we have the whole engine online now. Uh, it is going to be. Uh, it is going to be banish Seeks. Mm -hmm. Declare the effect of Seeks. Special summon it by banishing the Shif. Declare the effect of Seeks to add a fish from deck to hand. Um, and you know what? We are gonna go with extension. We're gonna add white sardines. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ban it. Mm, it is almost certainly correct. Uh, no, 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 no. That's greedy. That's greedy. That's greedy. Let's get the let's get the engine online. We're just grabbing. Um, we're just we're just grabbing the Keef. Yep, and yep, yep. uh banishing Keith. and uh yating seeks right back into the banish pile we will special summon the keef set one card and yeah now we have both goatee engines online uh give me like two seconds i got a new keyboard it likes to be fucky sometimes would you call it a new keef board N no i wouldn't do that why not Jessica. what <laughs> fuck you <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time you have ever called me Jessica in my life, and I'm a little shocked and turned on. And you're now. Alright. Um. Great. Right. Yeah. We did it. We did it, Reddit. Um. Okay. Um. I will normal summon. Infernal Knight Ogier. And I'll use it to effect on summon the Fortish Barrier, the Noble Arms, or Fire Warrior. Uh, this is fine for now. Um, let's see, what Noble Arms or Fire Warrior do we want? I suspect I know. Yeah, it's gotta be this. It's gonna be Uricodetto. Yeah, for sure. And I will attempt to end the main phase. Um, yeah, this will force it out. Uh, boop. And motherfuckers, it's time for ASK! Yo, can ass! Um, we are going to, uh, first it will be banish, uh, Ariane posts. We will indeed be adding white sardine this time. White? And we will banish Askan and Ogier. Goodbye, man. And uh, Askan will return by banishing Shif. Seems reasonable. Alright, I'll activate the effect of Ricodetto in Grave. I'll banish it to summon a Fire Warrior from hand as a tuner. Yeah. Um, and we are gonna go for. M -m 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 guess. This doesn't beat the. Uh, but if you get an equip card, it can. So fuck it, we'll go Keef. Um. 
Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right. Um, we will uh, special summon Seeks. Declare Seeks. Yeah. This is this is this resource loop is unbelievable. It's just every time you every time you have a turn where you summon, I banish one of your cards and add a fish. Fish, fish, um, fish, fish. Which one do we want at this stage? We just want to make it another Keef, another Keef day. Uh, we'll go be tuneful. Uh, so I don't have to make the choice now. Yeah, God, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Who we uh, who we banish in? Um. Oh. Yeah. 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 Um. I probably should just get the seeks ba uh, back online for a future turn, but having two bodies also feels kind of good. So I'm actually not sure. Yeah, we will banish the seeks. Goodbye. Uh, well, I don't have a great follow up, but I have set one, and I have the return of the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh, Parasomnia Pillow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodbye, ass can. End phase. Token me! You got a 2700 attack token, baby. God damn right I did. Break my board. Um, we have some good tools to do so. I, I will... mean, you're summoning back two guys. That's a pretty I good start. I will generally say. That's an all right start. Oh, God. Um, that's not bad either. Jesus Christ. Um... Um, okay, so we will... <gasps> oh, that's so funny, we get to do that. Okay. Uh, we will start with the most distant, deepest depths. It's so distant, it's so deep. I'm gonna banish my ass can from Grave. I see, I see Yeah, the this okay. is pretty good. Uh, we'll go Ixeep. Yeah. Ass can gets to return by... I guess we'll banish the Ixheap in Grave since we are uh, summoning the one from special summoning the one from hand. Mm -hmm. Um, we will. Yeah, you know what? We gotta go funny. We will synchro summon Fish Lamp. Fish Lamp. Fish Lamp. <laughs> oh, and you know fish what? Lamp. We will continue on the theme of funny. I am going to. Oh wait, does this work? Hold on a second. Um. Oh, that's so silly. Oh, that's so goofy silly. I don't think I can do that quite yet then. Okay. Oh, but that's kind of a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are going to special summon a white sardine. Mm -hmm. We will send a white sardine from deck to graveyard. Classic sardine strategies. We will normal summon the Beautiful Princess. Yep. Banish it to special Goodbye, summon Tuna. from deck. Uh, lifeless Leaf Fish. Declare the effect of Leaf Fish. Yeah. We will send. Oh, we'll just send the second Keef at this stage. It seems all right. Um, and at this stage, we do need to clear a little bit of space, so I don't actually think this is that good in this situation, but I have a shiny new secret rare, and it doesn't matter under the water blocking. Here's Enigmaster <laughs> pack bit. I don't cool. think I could do shit with the token with this card's removal effect, unless I am mistaken. Um, can tokens go into the back though? I mean, tokens can't go to any zone other than the field. They can't go <laughs> face down. But can't I actually fucking I hate token drawing. <laughs> I I would I am uh, if you can't figure it out online, I have have already emotionally prepared myself to not be able to yeah. uh, pack bit your token. That token I... can only exist face up on the field. Uh huh. Can be used to pay costs as long as it does not specify a destination. Yup. We've got a they can from Nuss. I think. Because here's the thing. It. No, yup, here's the ruling. Token monsters can be treated as an equip card. I mean, they can be put in the background. Fast. That's unbelievable. <laughs> okay, then we'll fucking do that. <laughs> That's fucking insane. What do you mean? <laughs> 
going for cost. Uh, yeah, we'll go, <laughs> we'll go Shocktopus, and then you are absolutely dead on board if you don't have anything, because we got the white uh, sunfish. White. All right, um, we'll, we'll make some, we'll make some guys, uh, really quickly. We will, um, white porpoise gets to be here, my good friend. Special white summon, pulse. um, white sunfish as a tuner. Uh, you know, we will, we will, we'll make Juju. Juju gets to be here as, oh, that's not a water monster. Um. Well, judge, judge, game loss, game loss. <laughs> So, actually, I think we're just keeping these guys in attack mode for now. Great. Uh, and we'll just, uh, we'll just kinda go for it. Yeah. Um, I'll take 2,000. Um, boop. Yeah. Wait, oh my god, this is actually... Wait, I'm you can't not... terror is the pack bit. <laughs> I can't. I can't. You, 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 you don't have a spell trap. I have to tear. You know. I, I mean, I do have it. We're just gonna tear off the Oscon and pray to God it walks. It's All not right. gonna. I'm still dead. It looks like. Um. Because because there's still 35 on board. Oh yeah. But I'm I'm, I'm setting your fish lamp. You fucking. <laughs> Get fish lamp. Oh, my fish lamp will not be able to light things up if it is face down. Yeah. This is. 15, 27, 35, yeah. <laughs> Dude, fish go crazy! Fish are fucking crazy. Um, I can't- there were like two different brews even. There's XZ's fish and, uh, Synchro fish. And they're uh, a I little bit mutually I had, exclusive. I had a very funny tech for any kind of XZ's deck in the side. But, um, alas. Rip. We didn't even- I'm gonna be so real with you, this deck is crazy. We didn't even see the Omni negate and <laughs> Menadium reframing. So this- this- uh, I would be down to but dumb something from Fish because this feels like a deck that could use two hits. Yeah, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Listen, I've said this before. I love Goaty. I think this deck is so cool. I'm really glad we've gotten to play it. I'm banning Arion post. <laughs> yeah, that I think that'll do it for the most part. Yeah, that that guy is kind of the one the entire combo revolves around. Um, Arion post is already in the banished uh, mm. zone, so we'll go ahead and symbolically banish it face down. Beautiful. Um, yeah, there was a time where you could just, like, ban Shif and completely kill the deck, but that is no longer the case. Uh, Keef is a really powerful new uh, uh, form of interruption and a crazy new combo starter. Uh, and if this deck is allowed to have the 6 Synchro and get its combos into play that quickly, it is going to be nuts. Um... Yeah, that is going to leave us with um, a Badum. I get one ban, and then you and I each have one extra ban. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. Yeah, you only used one of them this season, and Crazy. so did I. Well, my deck is like, it's all right, you know. It's like a reasonable control deck, but this is like, you know, I've said before in this series that trap cards were good for a lot longer than I expected them to be, but... uh. We've pretty clearly hit the point where that's not the case. I activated, like, five traps that would have completely destroyed every era prior to, like, rains. Um, and it just didn't do enough against the fish, so... It did enough game two when you were going second, and I didn't have enough special summons uh, to kind of play through all of it. Uh, but yeah, we're th solidly in the era where, like, monsters rule. Very much so. I never even drew the best card in the deck, which is until Noble Arms are needed once again. <laughs> yeah, I and I think in terms of bans, I think it is correct uh, to get rid of your um, Spring Gans 8 uh, yeah, Xyz, say. because oh, I, I think having hey being able to rank 4 into searching a Therion is too good. Uh, especially, yeah, especially since, like, the brickiness of the Therions is not finding the right one based on what's in your graveyard, and this, like, eliminates that. Yeah, it's pretty good, and it's, like, any deck that happens to play level 4 then have Therion typing. Yeah. Uh, I almost hesitate to remind you, but I pulled that, uh, fucking, uh, 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 Raider's Knight and the rank 5 right at the beginning of the season. 
Mm-hmm. So that is a what thing. about it? <laughs> what about it? Okay, okay, just just kill me with it, coward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> I'm trying. To, there's got to be something sensible to ban. Um. Okay. No. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna do the the joke ban yet. I'll save that for the final mega ban. <laughs> And then what do we, what do we, this format is pretty solid other than yeah. like, you know, uh, the, the, the fact that the goatees, uh, uh, had a little bit of a spike recently. Right. And it's the question, is there anything else you want to ban? Just cause like, we've seen it a bunch. <laughs> is it time to ban a sous chef? <laughs> I would be so down to ban Just Gunk so and Suship Shari. <laughs> Yeah. But the question is, if we ban Shari, does it also include Shari Red? Because it has the same name. Mm. <laughs> uh, very, very true. It very doesn't. real. Um, can you imagine no, wait, no, if no. Konami had to ban, like, Harpy Lady 1? Honestly. It'd be so no, funny. I remember I was talking about this at some point. We should ban Shari, because then we will have banned a card of every type over the course of seven. Let's go! <laughs> this is the only era where we ban, like, Effect, uh, Synchro, XZs, uh, Pendulum, uh, and uh, now Vanilla. We have, yeah! we have cleared... We got a bingo, folks. We fucking did it, Red Ant. We have bedumbed... We have bedumbed Sushi. We have, uh, killed a no small more business. Sushi. Uh, what the fuck am I doing for my extra ban? Um, yeah, I have no idea. If I can't think of anything, I'm probably just gonna hit your DDDXEs that just overlays over anything. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I do have an, an a rise heart sitting around. I could see a You know be what? Yeah, actually, I don't really want to risk that being the end. We're gonna we're gonna fucking ban a rise heart. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. No fuck fucking it. clue what I'm banning. <laughs> I don't know. There's like an argument to just ban something like a Manadium reframing because I feel like synchro decks don't need to just randomly have an Omni. I I that would make a certain amount of sense along the lines of we ban the XZ's block. Yeah, fuck it. I don't want to think anymore. Ban that one. <laughs> Let's go. Tear yeah, no. This this card would have been absolutely crazy if I drew it. Uh, we were playing three of it, so you know, very much a, a crazy thing for this deck to have on top of all the other combos it has. Yeah. Uh, but that is the last of it. Uh, what did you yeah. did you do? Like, did you get anything in your extra packs? So, kind of. So I was talking to you before we started playing this game. I've been trying so hard to find score solvents. All I want is score solvents. I opened LLB as my four in like the grab bag. I opened LLB for every pack of last match, all my extra packs, every pack I've gotten today. I've found a total of one score solvent and I am in agony. Is that motherfucker <laughs> short printed? What the fuck? I don't think short prints existed back then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's what they know. wanted you to think, baby. Um, yeah, I guess, like, um, hilariously, the most interesting thing I found, I think, was, uh, in the GX pack. I pulled a couple Phantom Darkness, I got one Lone Fire Blossom, and one oh. Allure of Darkness. And yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, those are, like, playable cards. Those are, like, real. Uh, the, but that was, that was pretty much it. Um, yeah. well, I did, I did get, like, the Raid Raptor rank 4 that I was missing, um, and that was, like, that was a whole thing right at the beginning of the season when I was bouncing between, right. like, uh, toy, toy, angry toys, um, yeah, that's mad, mad, mad animals. Five mad, Night at Freddy's. Five Night at Freddy's, the archetype, or, um, or rock ritual. Uh, Megalith, I remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> I only have 50% uh, early onset dementia. Uh, when I was yeah, deciding yeah. between those two decks, and then, like, Raid Raptor was also there as an option, but I didn't have any of the rank 4. Yeah. Um, and now having that does make the engine more consistent because it's not as much of an issue about all the things that Raid Raptor lock you. But um, the power level has since eclipsed that eclipsed that deck a fair bit and we really wanted some of those like uh super rare cards either the rank five right. or like the super rare rank up uh to kind of take it to the next yeah. level now i think outside of scotty's probably the most interesting thing happened in my balls is that i opened shining darkness for five d's specifically to find more infinity stuff 
poured a couple of decent Infernity cards, and then played Infernity and didn't run any of them. <laughs> 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 they weren't level three, you see. <laughs> incredible oh just the just the greatest that's ever done it folks um yeah no i didn't find too much i found uh some interesting stuff in phantom nightmare it's a pretty good set it's got some good fish yeah. in it some of the best fish that i've ever been truly yeah um no, there are not as many uh fish tuners that have even levels as i would want there to be but yeah uh some of the craziest fish to ever do it uh but I, uh, that is all of our bands. It's all the changes we can make to the format, and that is all yeah, the packs. That that is like like we have opened the last packs we'll ever open for DPT today. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about that. I was in game one. I was like, if Man. I lose game two, these are the last ones. Um... Honestly, and my very last pack couldn't even give me a common. <laughs> How dare they? I got uh, fucking spear out of the hop, though. Fucking uh, YGO Pro Dude, you know is what? an anti anti DPT website. When I was opening my mid match LLB pulls, I pulled two copies of Trap Hall. Can you imagine how crazy that would have gone like any time besides right now? <laughs> when that card is power you trapped and almost also play it. It's banned. <laughs> Oh my god, hilarious. Super funny. No, I would be playing it if I could, <laughs> honestly. Like, interrupting the normal summon is good enough, but... I was, I was, uh, yeah, in terms of, like, pack spread, I was pulling a couple of Magic Ruler because pulling a painful choice at the 11.11th hour would be the funniest thing it in would be, existence. It would uh, but I was pulling the pack from 5Ds where Max C comes out. I was oh, doing some you. silly, <laughs> silly high roll stuff. God, I, I was, I was trying so hard to pull a rank up Mantic the seventh one. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> oh boy. Um, folks, pulling Yu-Gi-Oh packs is about many things. It's about crushed dreams. Sometimes it's about an unfucking fathomably uh funny uh level eight synchro. <laughs> Uh, who fucking You're fucking guy? Snake Eyes really prepared me for this. <laughs> True. Um, but above all else, uh, pack opening is about friendship, and uh, Sophie is my friend, and we have been doing this over the course of the last two years, and I am really sincerely going to miss it, and uh, it has given me well. some, I'm, it's given me something to enjoy during a frequently dog shit period of my life and uh for those of y'all who have stuck around including the seven of you motherfuckers who disliked the one video that the youtube algorithm picked up uh this this is this one goes out to all of you assholes <laughs> this one goes out to all the losers and haters yeah listen my you know that and haters. <laughs> i feel the same way it's been so much fun going on this journey with you. All I have to say is, if I'm your friend and you like this this much, you didn't have to beat me that many times. <laughs> Come the fuck, you could have given we're me a not, couple seasons. We're not quite done yet, though. We're not quite done yet. Yeah. We've got... <laughs> and surely two... I'm going to make good choices these last two matches. <laughs> That sounds like a personal problem. I want to play. I want to play. It doesn't sound like my problem if I want to play good decks. I just want to. I just want to banish How dare you? How I'm, fucking dare you? I am truly the victim here. <laughs> um folks we're gonna play two more matches in the next episode uh the first one is worth three points the second one is worth two points sophie must win both of them in order to win the sevens era and i will um but uh no matter what happens uh god the sevens era has genuinely uh, especially the second half has been one of our best seasons i was skeptical yeah. Uh, but no, these 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 off. last like eight mm -hmm. ten matches have all been fucking bangers, except for the uh uh the, the super heavy. But we don't talk about super heavy. It's fine. <laughs> Why would a samurai be super heavy? It makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, if a samurai if a samurai is super heavy, that makes it more difficult to do stealth things, right? Um, right, right. They, they would never make a robot a samurai. It can't be done. <laughs> yeah, who, how, who's, how the fuck is a robot gonna hide? Do you have anything to leave the people with? Um, all I gotta say is, oh, oh my god, that's so, oh, it's just not the same. <laughs> it's 
not the same. I miss Gabanga. Uh, boy. Do you, you uh, uh, miss Goglum? That was the other one that I wish I could make a space for in the Go-glim. in this deck because it's the I'm most. I'm not a bad one. Cody. I'm not a bad one. It, it, I mean, it kind of is compared to the other ones. Well, yeah. in terms of name, in terms of fact. Oh, terrible. okay. <laughs> This has been Double Progression Trouble. Jess takes the lead with a score of 9 points to Sophie 7. If you want to see what happens next, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to Sophie Apparently as well by clicking on her name in the video title. Thank you to Illusory B and Patson for your support on Patreon, and we'll see y'all for the last one. It's me. I was that was so scary. I was expecting someone else. <laughs> da, da, da. Emperor no, Stove, where me. the fuck Goblin are you? Queen, You're always late. True. <laughs> <laughs> Emperor Stove, your usual co host. Emperor Stove, you have been late for almost <laughs> one hundred and one episodes in a row, goddammit. Honestly, it's fucked up. No, it's really men have no okay. respect nowadays. Just genuinely, uh, no professionalism. Uh, mm-hmm. and this is I'm I'm here to say. <laughs> this is the Emperor Stove cancellation <laughs> episode. Is Stove here? I think Stove went to start his own progression series. Ah <laughs> oh, well, I'm, I'm okay with bullying people who aren't there to defend themselves.